Okay. We're here. Wait, hold on, hold on. There we go. Okay. I had to get my captions on and working. But what's up, y'all? We're here. We're hanging out. Um, this is the first and final stream of the week. Um, at least anything that happens today, rather. Because I kind of would like to do like a lot of streaming today, to be honest. But I, uh, we're going to see how the day goes. Because, you know, maybe we'll have like a break in between or something like that. But, um, okay. So, so many things going on here. Let me toss a link into Discord. Um, real fast. Then I have like one message to put out as well. But yeah, we're here and I'm gonna, we're finishing this game today. Is what I've decided. And I'm a little scared for what that ends up meaning. Um, but let me check one thing real fast. Uh, someone had hit me up about something. Real quick, um, where do I go? It's my direct messages. Yeah, all right. Let's just go and jump into it and see where the day takes us because, oh, just kidding. My uh, controller was not on, good start. All right. Ooh, this is the, this might be the earliest I've streamed in a long time. I think all year because I used to do actually a 10 a.m. stream. Uh, Disruptoid, thank you for the follow. I used to do a 10 a.m. stream really regularly. Um, I used to stream at this time, like every Thursday, actually. I was doing Animal Crossing for a while. I'm a simple creature. And if I see we're beating a game today, probably my phone, I stop what I'm doing to see what's going on. Thanks, Average, don't relax. I will say, um, I have no idea how much longer this will take, but I have, I refuse to, go to bed with this game not beaten. So we're starting early in the hopes that like, I would love for this to be like a four hour stint. Um, I don't know if it will be. I feel like I have a lot to do. I might have eight hours worth of work, um, but we have like 12 hours left in this day before it gets really late. So I think we're gonna get it together. We're gonna figure it out. Oh my God, do I even know of anything? Okay, we have more stuff on our map. This is our map currently. And you know, it's backseat gaming okay, so uh, feel free to interject as you see fit. I think chat's done a really nice job of like helping me when I need it, because sometimes I really needed it, um, and kind of just letting me figure some stuff out. So I feel like it's been a good, a good back and forth. Whew, okay. Um, the Nomai on Brittle Hollow observed a phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. The Nomai on Ember Twin observed a moon that would disappear when no one was watching it. Okay, yes, we learned about quantum mechanics and stuff. The Nomai built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. And what else do we have? The quantum moon sometimes disappears, possibly to an unknown sixth location. Many Nomai went on a pilgrimage during the quantum moon, during which the quantum moon carried them to its sixth location. To explore the sixth location, the shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. Can I go to the quantum moon? Well, I was going to stream. You can still stream play it for. I'm going to be here for a while, I think. Please feel free to stream. Um, don't worry about us. We're going to be okay. But now I can't. You can stream. This is just me going into space. I feel like I have a while before I'm done with the game. So I do actually feel like you really can stream for at least like at least two hours, if not more, and not miss much. Uh, Mindy Panda, thanks for the, uh, or Mindy Panda, excuse me, thank you for the, uh, the sub out here with. I'm like really nailing this. Five months on a one month streak, love to see it. First sub of the day. I have to see this through, oh my God. Now that the pressure is on, folks. Where the heck do I go? So is it like quantum moon time? And if so, like, would I go to the Hourglass Twin? Because that's where the, you can see the moon from sometimes, right? Um, what's up, Janet? What's up, uh, Jen... Jendon, I think? I love this game so much, but I end up falling off for some reason. I decided to watch a Let's Play of the ending instead of going back. That is fair, you know? We don't think enough about that as an option, but it really is. So I know that there's like that thing on this planet that shows you where the moon is. Um, that emo flowing across the screen made it look like 
They're reading Rainbow TikTok. <laughs> Butterfly in. Oh, step. Did I not? Hold on, y'all. I got stuck. I'm 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 hitting the gas. You're not ready. The quantum moon is quantum, Janet. You're not ready. Really? Also, I'm stuck. I'm legitimately stuck. Like, my ship got stuck on. Look, I'm stuck. I'm just like, what the hell's going on? Ah! <laughs> Is this the plan I should be going to? Um, hey, Janet, great discussion with Nana last night. Thanks for stopping in, Fox of the Future. We're off to a really good start, y'all. Maybe this isn't where I need to go. This all happens so quickly. Where am I? Yeah, you're not, ooh. That, like, when you're, when you're looking at it, you can't see it. I mean, if you, if you don't look at it, you won't see it. So you have to be looking at it. Um, ignore the fact that I flew into the sun. You can't land on the sun. Yeah, squad. Oh, the void. How's it going? Void was also there in the the chat from uh, TikTok. Also, what am I drinking? I'm glad you asked. Um, I am out here, not sponsored, but should be. Noon hydration. The hydration starts. Uh, it started a few days ago, actually. I've been drinking one glass of electrolyte infused water, in the hopes that it would help me. For my marathon, I don't know if it will uh, actually, but I feel like having good hydration on the lead up is important. Generally, my hydration is actually pretty good because I have a big old water bottle. But how do I like find the quantum moon then? Oh, this is the quantum moon. Can I? No, you can't flag it. Of course, you can't. Um. Okay. Okay. We're gonna figure it out. Just look around. Look around. Look around. What is this? That's dope. Didn't know you were a runner. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not it. This is my. What is this though? The the at the at the atl rock. Have I been here? What is this? It's just a rock flowing through space, right? Um, I dipped out um, near the end to mod some of my mic stream and ended up playing Shredders all night. Nice. Is that out now or is Snowbag Mike playing it early? I don't know what this is. Should I be here? Probably not. I don't know. We're gonna just. We're just gonna see what's up. We already have all the quantum stuff, so. Oh, there's something here, though. Did you know, streaming is Janet's side hustle. Her true passion and moneymaker is running. Oh, yeah, man, that would be cool. Um, I actually know of uh, this guy I follow on YouTube. His name's Kofuzi. At least his handle's Kofuzi. I don't know if his legal name is Kofuzi. Um, he is an ASIC-sponsored runner, which is, like, really cool to see, like, Amateur runners. Oh shoot! What happened? What what happened? Get sponsorship. Oh my god! And by amateur, I mean like just not like professional level speed. I found somebody! Yay! It's a friend. I think this is a new friend. It's Esker. Hi. He's not a pro speedrunner? No, pro is like really like like when you think of um, there's like elite runners and like if you see any races ever, um, they'll have like an elite wave and then like the sort of amateur waves after. So he's just like a really good like normal runner, like, you know, sub four hour marathon or whatever, maybe faster. How's How I Met Your Father been? Uh, how many episodes? The full season one is out. Uh, there are 10 episodes. The show is not good, but I did watch all of them and I am going to keep watching them because I am a sitcom nerd and a How I Met Your Mother stan and I'm just curious to see what goes on. So um, I enjoyed watching them and talking to my family about them, but I wouldn't say the show is good. I, like I'm watching Modern Family right now. I'm watching Frasier. Those are good shows. How I Met Your Father at this point, not a good show, but 
I don't hate it. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground control. And then I'm going to catch up on chapter this. Uh, ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Uh, don't other travelers come by? The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eye on things. Um, sometimes Church comes back to say hi, but Gabro is Gabro. And you know how Rybeck feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go. Uh, I mean, anything else you want to ask? Um, seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control, Hornfels, and Gosan mostly. And they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. They forget about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as other travelers since I'm always in one place. It's not bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system, let alone our village. Um, let me ask the, like, do you spy on us thing. You spy on us? What? No, it's not spying. It's it's one-way communication. Creep. Uh, that none of the villagers know about because I've never told them. Um, super suspicious. Was that you whistling? Probably not. Or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. Uh, you can pick up their music with the signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. The North Pole is marked in red on your mini-map, but Adel Rock is a small, a pretty small moon. Just go north. You can't miss it. Um, let's see. I feel like I should have gone here first. Um... What is this place, maybe? I think I asked him that. Oh, ha, ha, very funny. Oh, stars above. You're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. Ah, welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, uh, travelers used to bring their ship here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot, like more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down um, on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here raising saplings from Timber Hearth and keeping an eye on things. Marl says hi. <laughs> Marl is probably the only one who remembers I'm up here. I should go see the big lug soon. Don't tell them about this, uh, but sometimes I throw my little scout down there to make sure Marl isn't doing anything stupid. I worry that big tree in the village wouldn't stand a chance otherwise. Um, this was a good first place to visit. Yeah, I'm like, okay, so it's taken however many hours for this, but I'm finally starting to see the ways this game does teach you stuff. But yeah, it's kind of, it was a rough go. Um, and I still like, even now I'm not an expert, but it's, oh God, oh God, no. It's taken so long to like learn how to, how to be... I'm like, I'm about two or three days from really understanding what's going on. Um, cool. I don't know if the, he might be my last guy that I have to, that I not have to meet, but that I could meet. I guess I'll go to that North Pole and put the signal scope on. Before I do that, though, I'm going to glance at chat real fast. See if I missed anything. Um, we got Shredder's out on Game Pass. Cool. I might check that out. Hey, Sarah. Um, we're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. In our rocket rocket ship blasting through the skies. I, too, made that joke uh, earlier. Um, yeah, Little Einstein. I'm, it was one of my stream titles for this once. Um, sometimes you just gotta watch a show, right? Remember, season one of How I Met Your Mother was not the best. I disagree. Season one of How I Met Your Mother was fire. Like, they had Purple Draft. They had Ted's opening speech. Like, no, that season is fire. Um, other things. This is a good first place. Yeah, I wish I visited here. Speaking of running, so Mike thinks without any practice, he could run a sub seven minute mile without any practice. Uh, I would guess no. Yeah, he's he's probably wrong there. Um, Void, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Sarah Pods. I appreciate it. Um, though I will say some people are just like naturally quite a bit faster. Like my family could pretty easily run under nine minute miles. Um, kind of out the gate from just being sort of athletic. So. But seven, seven seems really low. So I'm gonna say he probably can't. I'd have to know more about his physical fitness. Maybe, you know, if he was like, if he's like always working out and always like has a really strong cardiovascular system, that could be true. But I'm guessing he's like, has a pretty normal physical life. Um, maybe not like the most active because most people don't because it's a lot of freaking work. So yeah, um, I don't think so. 
I think he could probably, he could maybe run that fast for a moment, but he probably couldn't maintain it for a mile. Um, you know, for like a sprint or something, like, yeah, maybe like a couple, um, a few meters and things. Maybe. Uh, fitness is more like fitness miles and minutes. Um, hope everyone's having a good day. What's up, Neens? Thanks for stopping by. Hey, briefly, uh, here briefly while catching up on things. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, feel free to lurk or do whatever you need to do because there are so many times where like oh yeah the north see and it tells me what the north pole is and stuff like let me walk to the north pole um there are so many times where like i just feel like i just don't have time to check in on people's twitch streams but and then when i do like sometimes they're too interesting and then i'm like i'm just watching the stream and i'm like not getting anything done so it's definitely a bit of a challenge <gasps> Ooh. okay so let me go to the north pole i'm almost there Yeah, this would have been like a great first place to stop. Like, I'm a little salty that I never came here until today. Let's just see if there's any more like unknown people. I don't think so. Feldspar. Oh, we do have one unknown here. This could be cool. Always appreciating seeing you in chat. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, I'm like, so I'm honestly now obsessed with building up points in people's chat, like the channel points. And I'm, uh, when you're subbed, you get more channel points like per like minute or per whatever. Um, or you just get them at a higher rate than a non-sub. So um, I'm just trying to really like boost up the amount of channel points I haven't played for its stream. Cause I am subbed. So I'm like, okay, let me get the full advantage here. Okay, I guess I'll go to my ship. I did see some one of the moons, but I kind of want to check out. Where's my ship at? Oh, here it is. 146, five. Okay, I think it's generally in this direction. There's one noise I haven't investigated yet. I think I recommended coming here first. Did you? I should have listened. Um, I am sorry if I did not. Um, but yeah, like, I'm like, oh, like, it just feels like if I could go back and replay this game, I'd have a better time with it because I would, like, know more. Um, I do think that I kind of wish some of that was a little bit more baked in. Like, I need a little bit more guidey help in the beginning because learning, like, I think the, the main planet actually does a pretty good job tutorializing a lot of stuff. But I think at the time, it just felt like a lot of like, you're throwing a lot of words at me. Like, I don't really know what this means. Like, I liked though, like the hide and seek game with the signal scope. Like there were definitely elements um, of the tutorialization that I did like and I found helpful, but it's okay. You were young and brash when you started this game. Yeah, like it's, it, it's definitely like, I think that's the biggest thing this game has going against it. Like it can be, hard to love in that sense um and i do get that there are people that like take to that a little bit easier you know like a duck to water but i was not that person okay obviously we don't want to fly into the sun so we have to be careful i'm trying to see where this one sound was it was like near chirk kind of hold on hold on it wasn't shirt though it was something else Ah. Hold on. I keep like seeing it, but then it goes away. It's not Ryback. It's not Feldspar. Here it goes. This is where I want to go. I wish you could like tag the frequency. Maybe you can, and I just don't know how. Yeah, you don't have context for the tools. Yeah, like I think the best tutorial that was in there that they had you do was um, the one where you play hide and seek with the signal scope. Harmonic convergence. Pick up all traveler instruments simultaneously with your trophy honor. Um, here we go. So yeah, I'm trying to get to whatever the sound is. Hopefully I don't crash when I do. Am I? I don't know how to like move forward proper properly. Like, am I moving forward now? 
Should I just like hit autopilot just to get moving? Let me just hit autopilot and then change it. So it's not here. Where is it at? Don't be alarmed. I am heading straight for the sun, but we're not we're not gonna hit the sun. I promise. I'm heading for Ember Twin actually, so I'll be okay. Where was this unknown signal at? Oh god. Not the sun. Let's just go for here. Where was it at? Am I winning? I'm doing okay, actually. I like... <laughs> um, I just told chat this, so it's kind of repetitive for people who are on the Twitch stream, but... I, like, went to this one... Oh, fuck. Hold on. No, no, no. Bad things happened. Bad things happened. Bad things happened! No! No, it's so hot! Why is it so hot? <laughs> no, I'm trying so hard to get out of... I'm falling into the, um, the atmosphere of the sun. So I'm trying really hard to... I can roll. Is this doing anything? I'm fighting for my life here, y'all. Like, I just... Hold on. I'm actually not that close to the sun. I think I'll be okay. Um... Let me just aim for something else, maybe? No, not the sun. Jesus. Let me zoom in. Okay, okay. Yeah, I survived. Okay, so, um... Isaiah, yeah, I went to this one moon, and literally, like, the guy was like, blah, blah, like, I'm talking to the NPC, and he's like, oh, um, here's information on how to find all the stuff that you slowly struggled to find for the last 12 hours, but you would have maybe found it if you came here first and not everywhere else, and I'm like, damn, this would have been good. Um, Sometimes you got to kiss the sun for good luck. A hundred percent, absolutely. Thank you for the the bits as well, uh, Void. Where the heck is this plant, this thing that I'm looking for? Let me know if y'all have any. Wait, here we go. Here we go. Unknown. This is what I'm looking for. Oh, it's in Giant's Deep, though. Is this gonna be good? I feel like Giant's Deep is just. Well, Giant's Deep is in Dark Bramble, so Giant's Deep isn't too bad. Maybe this won't be too bad. I wonder if this is something I've, I've been to, but I just never scanned. I don't know. And also, is this going to be Giant's Deep, or is it farther than Giant's Deep? Those arrows around the target describe your position relative to it. Wait, what is that? What? Is it on this planet? That's like the thing I'm kind of confused on. I'm getting, or is it like through past the planet? Is the quantum, is it the quantum moon you're looking for? I'm just looking for whatever the signal is. At this point, like, I'm trying to track this specific signal. And... I don't know... Here it goes. Wait. Wait. Like, how to get to it. Like, what's with the signal? It's like 800... But it's like, on the other side of something. Like, if any of y'all have- I might just give up on tracking this, but if y'all have insight, like, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Or maybe it's not on this planet, or maybe it's under the water somehow. 900, 800... Like, hold on. Try to aim for it. I feel like it wouldn't be there. It's on- it is on the surface. Okay. Hold on. Hold- hold on. Hold on. And I feel like I've been to everything, but maybe I haven't. I mean, in terms of these frequencies, like I thought I had tracked all of them. But sometimes I forget to scan them, so like maybe that was a problem. There's Feldspar. Okay. 500. Okay. Maybe it's on this little part. Maybe I just never scanned this one. So yeah, this is this guy over here, right? Oh no, it maybe it's not. Let's just get out, because I'm here just making things up. I'm like really close to it. Okay. And then after this, I'm gonna look for the quantum moon. Um, I'm glad you haven't gotten drunk in like a month because I'm so, I'm glad I haven't gotten drunk in like a month. I was like, what? Um, because I'm so sleepy and I don't need a hangover on top of that. Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, I think t today is gonna be my last day having beer until after my marathon. 
I like drink fairly regularly, but I don't drink very much when I drink. I drink like one to two beers. Sometimes I'll have three, but that's a little bit more rarity. Yeah, it's just this guy. I talked to him before, yes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely talked to him. But let me... I mean, he has news to say. So Nemai created those head statues to record memories, huh? Um... Either Cho CMNK or Chalk. Thanks for the follow. Also, it could be neither of those as well. Uh, yeah, I could see that Nemai doing that. Not sure what for, but it seems like they're sort of thing. Do you think the statues are recording our memories then? Because I remember that one on the beach looked at me funny. That must be my memory friend. Um... Sorry, your ship again, maybe? Hope it's having fun without me. Okay, cool. So that was it, I guess. Okay, well, again, I figured it was one of the people that I found and I just didn't scan them. Here's probably not the carb loading you want before the marathon. Yeah, pretty much. It's mostly the, honestly, the reasons that I don't want to drink beer too close to the marathon is the dehydration of it and the way that it also interacts with sleep. I personally don't really have um, much of a beef with like how I feel drinking and then sleeping unless I like drink a lot or something. Um, but, you know, just generally. And then just generally, you know, I'm not gonna front, like, beer's not good for you. Like, there's not- <laughs> the, there's very few studies that, like, have anything favorable to say about, like, alcohol consumption at most volumes. So, you know, not to be a Debbie Downer, but a lot of things we have are not good for us. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm parsing down on stuff. In the lead up, um, okay, so now it's quantum moon time, I guess? I don't know. If it should be, or what's going on, but- or what I should do. Maybe I go to the Hourglass Twins? The Ember Twin? I'm probably running out of time pretty soon, too. That's a myth. I got into the unfortunate habit of drinking to get drunk. Yeah, a lot of people fall into that. Um, I definitely don't recommend that. Um, it's been nice, like, uh, over the years, like, developing a relationship with alcohol that is much more, like, Oh, I like beer. Like, I enjoy the hobby of, of craft beer and stuff. Um, but yeah, that like, I remember that being a big thing in college where people were like, we're going to get blacked out tonight. And I'm like, this is probably a bad thing to aim for. <laughs> like, that sounds like a bad idea. Also, I'm about to die. The sun's going to explode into my face. So let's just meditate until the next loop. Um, yeah, you know, it's a good, it's important to have a, a healthy relationship with things. Um, Sarah says, has Chap been bothering you to check your ship's log? That's what they always did to me whenever I was lost. Um, not really. I mean, m sometimes. Sometimes they'd ask also just to see like what I have and where I could go next. Um, Chap's been pretty good on like knowing what's up. Um, slash like having restraint. I actually feel like I probably could live with Chat helping me more, but I also like get the desire of like watching someone figure out or, or also not everyone knows the game necessarily but usually i have a, like one to three people that are like really knowledgeable on it and will be like would you like me to say what you do um do you get how the rumor board works it took me a while um to how it's guiding you um you know i feel like i do but maybe that's not true so let me like show y'all and then i can tell you my logic on like do i need to just get to this quantum moon and then that's like my next hurrah. So here, here's what's going on with my rumor board. Um, not a big drinker, partly because I have a good time sober and because I'm cheap. Yeah, I mean, those are some good um, skills to have, I think. So, I mean, I get that like this is connecting to this, like it leads into it, like the knowledge I got here leads into the knowledge I got there. That's like my interpretation of it. Let me know if that's not accurate. Um, so like my idea was to go here to the quantum moon locator and to try to find where the quantum moon is at and then go to the quantum moon and then um, try to get to that sixth location um, and make it so that the shrine on the quantum moon is at the moon's north pole. That's like my idea, but I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if you missed it or if I missed you a reply, what do you think of streaming the DLC when I visit? Ooh, um, I'm down to do that. I'm down to do that because you'd be there to help me with it. So, like, you'd literally be there. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm down for that. 
Though I will say, like, I'm also ready to be uh, done <laughs> for a little bit. But I think if that would be, that'd probably be, still be a while from now, like earlier in the next month. Uh, Beast, thanks for the follow. Mm. Wait, I'm surprised by that. I thought for sure that you had played it. Okay, if that's, I'm more down now because then it's like both of us figuring out. Requires left ship managing, which I enjoyed. Um, yeah, we can like do a pass the controller um, situation. Yeah, I'm down for that. Cause I'm like, oh, well, if it's just you like tell me what to do. I mean, that, that can still be cool, but this is a, a different kind of fun. So yeah, let's do it. Um, what am I trying to do? I want to go here, I think. Or do I? Feel free to let me know. I hear it's scary. That's what I heard too. This game also scared me. So I'm curious as to like what kind of horror lies in the DLC. Um, cause like that one time that that cactus appeared, I lost my mind. Okay. So this is my idea. Let me know if this idea is, is dumb. Cause it might, it might be. Um, beer actually hyperhydrates you. Too much water in the brain. <laughs> is bad for you oh gosh uh i'm in such a game gaming burnout following all the hype trains uh but with my full-time job and a four-month baby i'm so tired a perfect game for a super tired dad um what's a per what's a, what is a perfect game for a super tired dad spoiler alert it is an elden ring um greg that, that's a good greg miller question if you follow kind of funny's content at all which i don't know if you do um but having seen like greg play games um you know like through the internet, through Slack or whatever. He got really into puzzle quests because he could he can hold his baby and play puzzle quests at the same time. Um, I also just genuinely think he feels like that's a good game. I haven't played it, so I don't have an opinion on puzzle quest, um, but that could be a fun one. Also, maybe I should fly to where that this thing is actually located or else I'm gonna have to walk really far. So let me work on actually going. It's only 300 meters, but. You know, why walk when we can fly? We have technology. I'm going the wrong direction. 370, it's going like further away. So it's gotta be 360. Um, Animal Crossing could be good though. I, I don't know what your, I think one thing that's worth thinking about for you is what are your goals with gaming at this point? Um, do you still want to follow like all the hype stuff? Or are you just looking to have fun? Um, like, are you looking to, play games to have games that you're beating? Or are you looking to game purely for enjoyment? Because I think if it's just for enjoyment, like I, I find like Animal Crossing really relaxing. I find um, certain puzzle games really fun. Like if you haven't played Grindstone, that's a really good one. Again, you can play with just one hand. So that could be convenient. Uh, and that game is just straight up awesome. Like b both of those are just good games on their in their own right. So is that the quantum moon? No, that's like a different planet. Where's this moon at? I should probably look into how this works or something, but let me maybe reread the stuff. Um, other relaxing games. It only sometimes has a moon. It disappears when no one, it disappears if no one is watching it, right? Cause that's how the quantum stuff works. This is my first time encountering Okay. Our first step would be determining a method to track this moon so we can always know where it is. Can I use the quantum tracker thing to find it? Like quantum functions? Like, this is the island shard, the tower shard. Is this it? Like, I don't know. As long as you can see it, no matter how, it will stay put. That's anybody. The first quantum tower lessons are important here. I think maybe Stardew. Janet is that gif of the weekend at the sewer bowl. Oh, whether he's running through the hall of mirrors? Honestly? <laughs> Yeah, that is how I feel. Okay, I feel like then, since I need to see it and then keep looking at it, I think I should probably be in my ship. Let me know if that's a dumb idea. 
I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go with my dumb ideas, unless otherwise told, so... Um... I also feel like this process of, um... Playing this game specifically today, because I'm like, I'm beating this game today, like, we're gonna end this, um, so I can go into my marathon unencumbered by the Outer Wilds, uh, ventures here. Um... But that being said, I'm like, I feel like that, um, that TikTok audio that's like, you're staying until the routine is clean. Um, that's where we're at right now. This is the museum shards. That's my home planet. Oh, is this? No, that's the cave shard. How do I find this moon? What ga What's the game you're playing? Uh, right now? Outer Wilds. But, uh, let me know if you mean, like, other games I'm currently playing. Never mind, you answered it. Okay. Um, dumb idea is how I got through this game. This is- so this is the cave shard. Where's this moon at? Cave shard, tower shard. Also, can I just- let me just, um... Hold on, it's like throwing me off to have like the quantum moon locator just permanently flagged on here. Travels to five locations. The Nomai created a Nomai device created to track the quantum moon. Should I look back at the device? Just tell everyone not to look at you. Maybe you can s quantum skip the marathon. What, like, should I go back to that device? I feel like I don't know how to use it. Bless you. It's gotta be around here because they're like, sometimes this planet has a moon. So we know one of the locations is that planet. If you go to the locator, you can get a general direction. Otherwise, you just have to find it by luck. Okay. Because, like, that's the thing. Like, from the information, they're like, hey, we... This planet sometimes has a moon. Just look at the different planets until you notice the moon. Okay. Just keep cycling. Okay. First stand the locator, so you can see all of it. Okay, we're gonna just do the- not- not on the map, just in the ship, I think. Oh, I see it. Is that it? Oh wait, also, am I falling into the sun? Yes. That happens a lot. Um... I hate seeing these memories when they're like... The dumbest sequence of events. It's just like slowly falling into different planets. Um, why is it spicy? <laughs> that would be a fun thing. I wanted to use um, whatever you use played for for your sound alerts, like the sound redemptions. Well, you took off. You looked at the moon. Oh, and fire. Wow, I'm. I'm looking at a guide right now and oof. It, like, honestly, even like, I feel like the guide stuff for this game would be kind of even rough to parse out. No offense to people that make the guides for it. I'm sure it would be um, still better than having nothing in the sense of understanding, but like, the or unless you're following a guide completely, like it's gonna have done things in a different way than you have. Sound alerts, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I wanna add those in at some point. I think. I think I do like custom ones though, or like maybe some TikTok ones, because I'm I'm really worried, like paranoid about like DMCA stuff, with like having like songs or like stuff from movies and stuff, or even other games. Is this something? What is this? No, this is this is Ashwin. Just kidding. Just kidding. I this is nope. Nope. Where is your moon? Shit. Shit. Exit ship to repair landing gear. Okay, fine. Fine. Give me a second. Give me a second. Wait, is that something? Hold on. What's- fuck. What is- what's that? What's this next to it? No, that's the moon for- because this is my home planet, right? Yeah, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. 
Never mind. Let me fix this gear then. Uh, yeah, plus I think good guides will avoid spoiling the game outright. Okay, wait, landing gear. Okay. Okay. There's like a satellite there. There's, um... Try looking at Timber Hearth and look away and back to see if the moon is there. Okay. No, that's Giant's Deep. Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. Oh, this is so hard. Okay. Um, give me a second. I mean, there is a moon, but isn't that like the moon I went to? Literally any planet will do that as long as you just focus on one. Okay, hold on. I'm falling into the sun though again. Give me a second. It's so hard not to fall into the sun. Let me just get further in. Okay, so then by that logic... So there's Giant's Deep. And I could look away from Giant's Deep, and then I could look at Giant's Deep? If there's no moon, does that mean it, the quantum moon doesn't move there, or does that just mean it didn't at the time? Is my only question. Oh god. It just means it didn't at the time. So then how, like, am I, am I just supposed to just keep spinning around? But there's only six locations. You have to see it first for it to move. What? Damn, that sucks. Okay, um... This looks like something. But this is just the Timber Hearth moon. Maybe there's two moons? Unless there's two things there. Let's just go there and see what happens. Wait, am I not? Okay. I wasn't moving. Okay. Quantum moon. Where are you? Where are you? And I'm so sorry. As a general advice. I would avoid using autopilot at this point. Is this it? Fuck. Fuck. Ah! <laughs> oh. Ah! I'm still using the autopilot. I cannot move through space without the autopilot. I do not know why. I try matching the velocity and it doesn't work for me. I don't know why. Like, the matching the velocity only works once I'm close enough. Please. Okay, slow down. Wait, can I also take a picture of it and that would work? Fuck. 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 Oh! Well, it's too late to take the picture. What the fuck is this? Wait, what happened? Damn it! <laughs> Damn it. I thought I could, like, land on it. Alright, well... Okay, that wasn't too bad though. It didn't take us too long to find that. We can do that again. We can- we'll- we'll do it again. It's okay. It's okay. It got obscured by the atmosphere and you couldn't see it. Okay. I feel like- well, I kind- I kind of- I kind of get that. That does make some sense. 
The moon seems to be moving quantumly. <laughs> yeah, it, it does indeed. Um, okay, so you can't land unless you can see it. Okay. Let me make sure I have my thing ready too then. Not that one though, I need the other one. Wait. Also, wait, wait, is this something? No, this is this is Timber Hearth, right? Oh no, this is it, this is it, this is it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Does it count as me seeing it now with this? Does that count? Does this count as my picture? I feel like this counts as a picture, so... Look away and back if you're not sure. No, I feel like we could just roll the dice. Screw it. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. Fuck it, fuck it. Okay, now it works, it works, it works. Okay. It's Gomez time. Fuck. Oh god. Now here's a question. Can I get out of here without, like, anything bad happening to me? Oh shoot, just joined. This is exciting. It's Gomez time. Yeah. What's up, Gomez time? Can I, so can I get out now? Okay. Okay, and now I am observing it all the time because I'm on it, right? Okay. Okay, some more things to scan. Recall the rule of the sixth location. I, you know, y'all could have just told me the answers. Not y'all, but like this game, just all these crypt, you know, don't forget. Where are you? You have to recall the quant the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. Where are you? Why do you keep, I feel like, okay. Uh, well, the imaging is the, I know what the- well, you know what? The ship log got updated, so it doesn't matter. You know what? I didn't need to understand what you said to have gotten the value, <laughs> because the ship will tell me. Um, well, if you accidentally find it, they don't want you to fall into the solution. Okay. Um, so, with the sixth location, it's something about, like, the North Pole is involved. I'm actually just gonna walk for everything because I'm scared of losing things. Also, though... Obviously, this is the quantum moon. You can see where you are to the rel relative to the poles. Yeah, I'm like on the south pole. Remember when you teleported with the quantum shards? Yeah, I was like in the dark. So did I already did I already move? Because it's dark. I don't know. Whatever. Let me just. Okay. Wait. This is the same thing. Never mind. Uh, oh, Janet, I liked what you said about the Harry Potter game on PS. I love you, XOXO. I don't have an attention to the franchise, so it's very easy for me to separate the game from the author. Uh, but since she is still alive, I do feel a type of way from indirectly supporting her. Yeah, you know, it's just one of those unfortunate things. What is going on in here? Can I walk through this? Um, yeah, stay at a place today, actually, too, for that. I think it's like a, I think it's like a two o'clock or something. Um... But yeah, it's just, 
we'll, we're gonna see how it's gonna go down. Um, oh wait, just kidding. This is the wrong thing. Can I go in here? That is true. It's like, you know, she, she, it's like, um, I mean, this is dark, but like, again, there's like, it can feel kind of hopeless doing the whole like, well, what's the point of like voting with my dollar when like, I'm just one of like a kajillion dollars. Um, and that's why for me, it's more of like a comfort thing than an impact thing, you know? Like, hey, if you're like cool with that, that is what it is. And hey, we buy like, I ordered stuff on Amazon the other day and like I stream on Twitch, which is owned by Amazon. Like there are plenty of ways that I am entangled with things that have very well documented bad elements of it. I'm like, you know, but, um, but yeah, it's just, uh, it's one of those things. Heck, did I go in here? Maybe with my ship I could go in here. Looks like you can't get to the North Pole from this location. Cause there's something at the, from this, from, oh, I see what you mean. Okay, yes. Do do do. Do 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 for now. Um, okay. Remember they said the moon takes physical traits from the body it's orbiting. Oh, I don't actually don't remember that part, so. Thank you. What is this though? Okay. Uh, Solanum says, I'm here. After watching it wander from the skies for long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As suspected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of the journey, my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole, just that it's true. Okay. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is as we are. I am ready. Okay. I'm, did I move the location of the... Oh, wait. I'm in this pod, right? All part of the experience. What? I'm like in this... This is like a ship now, I think, right? Wait. Oh god, no. You use the ship to warp back to the gravity cannon. Okay. Well... Hold on. Hold on. Can we do... Look, when I see a little orb, I just move it to wherever I can. Okay, well... You can use the ship to work back to the gravity cannon on Brittle Hollow. Janet says, I'm a simple streamer. I see an orb. I ponder it. Yes. 2000%. Okay. Um, where am I right now? Okay. Well, the music is starting to play. So I think it's, it's, we're done now. <laughs> we're done. This is different music. Oh, okay. Well, I already gave up, so we're just gonna... <laughs> Bye! I just thought I'd get more information out of, like, interacting with little orbs. So I was like... I got a splinter, so yeah, I'm, I'm packing it up and going home. Um, like, a little bit of resistance, and I'm, I'm starting that next loop over. I'm meditating immediately. Like, you don't have to tell me twice. Um, have you orbited around uh, the black hole before? It's pretty cool. I think I have, right? Like, I stared at the sun for too long, so... Yeah, no, exactly. 
I've gone through them. I don't know if I've orbited around, like where you see like the universe like bend and stuff, like all that jazz, then yes, but whoop. Do, 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 do. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, so. Cool, I mean, we're back at the quantum moon stuff, so. No, not that. There's a tractor beam you can save, that can save you if you orbit yourself back into it. Yeah, but it's just like, I think if I was a different kind of player, that stuff would be more valuable to me, but I'm like, recovering from like an L, like I know it's possible, but I'm like, I could just restart it. I just joined the stream, but I've been following the playthrough on YouTube, no spoilers, uh, but Janet, have you been to up, go, have you been able to go upside down in Brittle Hollow? I have, um, but yeah, like I have to update actually, cause I've, I'm pretty far into the game now, so um, TBD on if you want to like wait for, I have to put all my old VODs on YouTube. I hope I have all the episodes saved. I saved like two of them that I just haven't uploaded yet. Um, so I will say like you might be getting some like let's play spoilers if you care about that element of it. Um, but if you're just generally like, I like watching you play the game and I'm just like hanging out, then yeah, definitely stick around because today's gonna be maybe a long stream. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to beat this game. But I've, I've put in, from the Let's Plays I've uploaded on YouTube, I've done like at least two more streams, I think, past that. And this would be like the third. Um, the third after the, the YouTube ones. But, yeah, and hopefully I'm not missing any episodes. I don't think I am. So Giant's Deep has like the spirally swirls and the moon is currently on Giant's Deep. And I don't want the moon on Giant's Deep. So I'm gonna look away from Giant's Deep. And then the moon's not gonna be on Giant's Deep. Cool. So now I have to find the moon. Um, which also, like, could I use my signal scope at this point to find the moon? Because I've, like, tracked its signal before. Or is that, like, not gonna fly anymore? Museum shard, grove shard. I think I see a moon, though, actually, on Ember Hearth, maybe? Well, Timber Earth has a moon. So I don't know if I see the second moon. Have you beaten Sly Cooper yet? Oh, no, I have not. Been waiting for you to play uh, Sly Cooper 2. No, I think I'm going to wait until um, PlayStation drops their Spartacus service. Um, we'll see what that ends up being because there's like the rumored, um, I think it was, I want to say it was from Jeff Grubb uh, at Games Beat about like the details of that plan. But we still don't know what the actual like truth of that plan is yet. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, the turn around. Jeffy Grub Grub? I, I, think, I think it was Jeffy Grub Grub. That could, I could be wrong. Does Timber Earth have the two moons right now? I actually don't know if it even does, but... We're like, what is this? Oh no, this is Giant Steve. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. No! Um. God, no! This happens so often. Uh, AG or AAG, thanks for the follow. Yeah, I'm still like pretty early into, into um, I wish Twitch saved VODs longer. I was watching the VOD of Ben Hans staring Elden Ring and then I refreshed and it was gone. Oh, that's such a bummer. Yeah, Twitch saves VODs longer when you're partnered which is the only like tangible benefit to being partnered other than like the cloud of being partnered. And also like, I think when you're partnered, you also get like some extra stuff from Twitch, like a partner helper or something. I don't know, like better access. But the thing about autopilot is there's some flight information that would be good to learn about, but you have never acknowledged it if you're just on the autopilot. I just can't fly through. I can't get my ship to fly where I want it to when I'm not on autopilot is my beef with leaving autopilot. Like I usually just end up floating into another part of the universe and I don't know why, maybe I'm not, I mean clearly I'm not controlling it well, like something's up. Um, but yeah, we'll see what I actually end up playing next after this game. Um, 
I ended up playing this as a result of um, a channel point thing with the community. Where like, I'll basically listen to like what games you guys are wanting me to play and then I'll make it a channel point goal. And then I'll just wait for you guys to hit it. Um, maybe eventually I'll be more strict on like the deadline for it. Usually I like give extensions um, for channel point stuff like that. Um, I think the game that people seem and by people, I mean, like, mostly Joe, but again, like, just whoever's most vocal, passionate about it, or the most amount of people, like, it's not a specific formula, but there's, um, definitely a good amount of interest in me playing, um, Yakuza, so I think that might be the next community thing you guys decide on, um, and the way I do these streams, typically, is I'll commit to doing two streams of the game, um, and if I like it enough, I'll finish it. So this was like one where I'm like, you know what? I'm doing okay with it. There's some intrigue here. Let's see it through. Um, so yeah, but I think I want to take a little bit of a break from having to do like really specific games and just like find some stuff that I want to either finish off or just have fun with. Um, but I don't have any direct plans for what that would be yet. So I don't see it here either. It's not on Timber Hearth because this is the regular moon that Timber Hearth has. Oh! I'm dead now, right? Yeah. No, I didn't eject. I'm still in the ship. The ship is broken. Okay, um... This is so hard. At least we went on the moon once. Did I? I crashed into something. I don't know if it was the moon. But something like knocked me into orbit, basically. If you play Pearl for the space program, you're master of the orbital maneuvers. Figuring out the mystery of the quantum moon is a really interesting part of the game, but it's not necessary for being the game. I also like fun fact, I have no idea what being this game even like takes or means. Like I just am checking boxes and I'm like, we're just gonna keep going. Um Everyone told me, though, I'll, it'll be obvious when I'm done. Do you and Isaiah ever f finish Heavenly Bodies? We have not finished Heavenly Bodies. I don't know if he can hear me. I don't think he can. He has headphones on and he's uh, currently at work, but um, we haven't. I really want us to. I don't know if he'd want to do that on stream. Um, yeah, but doing the Quantum Moon uh, changes the ending. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, and it just feels like a natural like next thing for me to do, but I'm just struggling to like find this moon. Um, but yeah, I want to finish Heavenly Bodies, and then I'm pretty bummed because me and him were playing Fogs, but I, like, didn't realize it was leaving Game Pass until, like, two days before. Um, no need to stream, I'm just curious. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, that, let play, that Let's Play is on YouTube as well, if people want to see that game. I actually really like that game a lot. Um, so yeah, check it out. Uh, it's pretty fun. But it's definitely on my list of, like, stuff that I'm playing. Um, but yeah, we haven't played it. I keep asking, uh, him if he wants to play it and he's never, like, in the mood to play it, so I'm like, I just don't know. But, like, it's not that long of a game either, and I really want to finish it, so we'll see what happens. And, like, you can play it by yourself, but, like, I don't really want to play with myself. Like, I had more fun with it as a co-op game than I think I would on my own, especially because I was pretty bad at it. <laughs> um... Okay, there's something either... This could be something. I think this is it. I think there's like this thing right here. Shoot. I think this might be it. Is this it? I don't actually know. It looks like it's it. Um, if you use the locator to get the planet, wait, I think if you use the locator to get the planet, it's at, and take a picture from your ship, even if you still can't see it, the moon should stay still. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm going so fast. I hope this picture counts. Please tell me the picture counted. Ah! It did. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. 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 
cool. Right, this is like the moon, right? I'm not tripping. I feel like this is the moon. Nice, okay, cool. What's with like all these dead bodies just lying here? It's kind of suspicious. Ship log updated. Yeah, like, can we talk about this? Because it's kind of a lot going on here. Okay, so we're at the South Pole because we always are. And I mean, just in case there's like something cool or probably isn't going to be, but oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Damn it. No! Damn it. I didn't think I was reaching the ceiling of the atmosphere there. Well... And again, I know I probably could recover from that, but it's okay. We're getting better. Uh, yo, excited to see other people playing through Outer Wilds. Uh, do you have many big question marks left? I don't know. I'll show you all my um, log and you can tell me how many more I have. I do feel like I have quite a bit to go. Like I have the title, like we're finishing the game today. And I, I do believe that, but I don't know how long it's gonna take me. I think it might take quite a while. So right now I'm working on the quantum moon, the most brutal game of red light, green light. I think Squid Game's the most brutal game of red light, green light, but I, I get the sentiment. Hopefully that's not the game you deleted on TikTok. Um, the game I deleted, what? Um, oh, uh, right, right, right. Uh, no, the game I deleted on TikTok from the joke with me and Isaiah was, um, God, what game was it? Uh, it was like something really chill that we like tried once and like neither of us were that into it. I don't think it was um, Ember, which is like an overcooked styled um, wonky physics firefighting game, but it was something like similar to that. It was like on that kind of level. Um, I forgot what game it was though offhand, uh, but we still don't play Heavenly Bodies. We're still don't play Fogs, even though I'm gonna have to buy Fogs now. Um, well, technically you were also dying in the vacuum of space. It wasn't totally reliable delivery service. It might be from the same developers, but it's this game, it's either called Ember or it's very close to that title. Um, it's tough for me to remember. I think it is called Ember though. Um, yeah, I wasn't a fan of it. I just, I mean, it was fine, but I just didn't think it was like that fun. It's in the style though of totally reliable de delivery service. Where are you? Yeah, Ember. I just meant maybe this was the, ah, okay, yeah, yeah. No, I, we've deleted that one though before too, because we've tried both of them. Oh, you know what it was? It might've been like Zoo Tycoon or something. Like there was like a few hours the other night where me and Isaiah just made um, like a zoo and it was awesome, but it's not really like that campaign-y of a game. So, you know, it was just like, hey, let's like play something random. Yeah, like it was fun. It was a fun time. I don't have any regrets about that. Um, there was like a couple of games that we had like downloaded. Um, this looks like it's the moon, but I don't think it actually is. The one that's floating on the side. Right? Thank you. Yeah, like that's not the moon, right? That's like Timberhurt's regular moon. You scan the moon with the signal scope. I have. Yeah, like this is like the other moon, yes? Yeah, this is the other thing, okay. Um, someone compared Tunic to Fez. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna die soon. Give me a second. <laughs> um, okay, someone compared Tunic to Fez and I immediately turned the podcast off. I'm playing Tunic once I finish Elden Ring. So, okay, so I've heard that comparison too. And I don't agree with it. I, now, admittedly, I did not beat Fez. Um, but it's not nearly as obtuse as Fez is. And also like the gameplay is way different than Fez. Like Fez is um, about like jumping around and exploring areas. And you sort of have like, I think Fez has more in common with Captain Toad just from a, the movement of the world element. Well, this is the moon though, yes. Okay, this is the moon, but I don't want to go to this moon because I've already been to the, it in this location. So I'm gonna have it leave. 
And then we're gonna look for it elsewhere. Oh, fuck. What? Oh, I guess I still have the autopilot on. Give me a second. Give me a You can use the tower to move the moon to different locations. Oh, yeah, I kind of see what y'all mean. I think I'll do that next then. You can change the position of the moon while you're on the moon. Really? That would be much easier than having to continuously find this moon in different spots. Wait, is this the moon? No, what is this? Well, what planet is this though? That's Giant's Deep. I don't want the moon on Giant's Deep. Um, the struggle is so real here. That's it. Damn. Yeah, well, I don't... Oh, well, I guess y'all are saying I can change the location without it being... Without being... with While being on the moon, I just, like, don't know how to do that. Darkness. Find the moon again. Museum shard. Cave shard. Recall the rule of- I just don't- that's why we're here. Outer worlds was okay. I loved it till I left the second location. The quantum moon you wish to see, remember the quantum rules of three? <laughs> Um, here's the thing. I can get to the moon. How do I change the location while I'm on the moon? Normally, when I was doing it with the cave shard, I, I'll, if it would be dark, shows a moon. It's the quantum moon. The only thing in orbit regularly is a cannon. Yeah, I just can't tell for sure if that is the moon. I think that is the moon. Um, okay. When you find the tower, get in and it'll let you change the location. Okay. This is, like, not the best picture of the moon, but... Shit. Okay, there we go, there we go. Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh! Well, you know what? It's okay. Shit, we have to... Mmm... We're just gonna deal with it. Oh my god, let me know if you can hear outside my house, because they're, like, cleaning the street or something, or the garbage came or something like that. It might actually be the worst. We can't hear. Okay. So I have the window open. Oof, still there. We cannot hear the garbage. Okay. Unless you've learned all the quantum rules, this won't make sense. I have, though. I just don't. <laughs> I know. So I know about, like, the picture. And as long as I can see it. Fuck. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But now that I'm out, like, I don't know how to make... Well, y'all are saying that from the tower I can do this, so I'm just gonna go to the tower and get it figured out. Oops. Like, there's light, too, but, like, I don't know how to... We choose to go the quantum moon, not because it is easy, but because it is hard. Just experiment in the moon tower. Once you see the tower, make sure to keep it in view. When I see the tower? I mean, this is the tower, yes? I don't know, what do you mean by keep it in view? Wait, what the fuck happened to my ship? Okay, well, you know what? I didn't need it anyway. Oh, can I like move this? That would be cool, but I don't... I don't know. I mean, this tells me where I am. How do I move that, though? <laughs> I was just hitting my head on it. Um, Ponder the orbs. Okay, that didn't work. Um, hey, what do these orbs do? I don't know. I mean, I just, like... 
turns this on. Is it like, do I close the door? Remember rule two now. Oh, is it just a light? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, no, it's too dark now. Hold on. I'm scared. Okay. Okay. So... I guess let me just see what's going on here. So this one's the one with Dark Bramble. I'm guessing this is like a hellscape because Dark Bramble sucks. Now you're near, yeah, but like this is gonna be like shitty, right? Do any of these locations look familiar? Yeah, like I can I can tell this is Dark Bramble because of the spikies. This is just gonna be death, right? Like Dark Bramble's like really shitty, but well, Dark Bramble's Bramble wasn't always exploded. I mean, I'm gonna explore it regardless because like why not? I'm here, but I feel like it's gonna be really toxic over here, but. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything here, but it's like the North Pole is like all shitty. What's this though? Okay. Another position in your map. Yeah, like this is the North Pole, but it's like all spiky. It's only toxic um, from tough events. Okay. North Pole is obscured. Right. So like that means like it's bad, right? Is this an oversimplification of... Uh, of the um, situation, let me know if it is, because that's like that's what I'm basing it on. I'm like, is there? Any, can I go to the North Pole? If not, this ain't the place for me. All right, cool, cool. Okay, good. I was just making sure that I wasn't. Oh, actually, if you spin around twice, it's all good or something. Okay. Let me just get back to the tower. Um, where is the tower at? It's near here. It's gotta be like near the south pole, I think. Right? Hmm. Is the tower still there? Unsurprisingly, there is some quantum fuckery on the celestial body. Did the tower teleport? It's all quantum-y. Damn it. Oh no, it's right here. I don't know. If it teleported, it wasn't very far, so. Like, I knew it wouldn't be at the South Pole, but I knew it'd be near the South Pole. Um, sorry for the psych out. No, it's all good. I don't know where anything is at any time, so. Okay, cool. So. Alright, now we're at whatever the fuck this place is. This is intense. Just turn around if we- Oh shit! Uh-uh! Well... Never mind. We've all seen that symbol before, right? Do you remember the rule of the sixth location? It has nothing to do with the pole, just leave the light off. You don't really need it. What? <laughs> oh, hold on. Um, you can use your flashlight. Okay. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Okay, okay, okay. Fresh planet, save me a slice. I'm scared I'm gonna fly out of the orbit. So there's that element. Like, isn't this like, oh fuck. 
Oh, I know where this is. This is that fucking sand place. Fuck this sand place, man. The em uh fucking the one of the ember twin. The ember twin. Yeah. How do I avoid flying out of orbit here? Or is this like the sign that the North Pole is not here? Don't jetpack too much. Stay grounded. So is the North Pole not going to be... Can I not get to the North Pole here then? You gotta keep looking around. Okay. I mean, there's this tower again that keeps moving, but... Uh, this might be a bad plan to search from, yes. Okay. Sunless city. I mean, should I go into, like... Does, am I gonna have to, like, go into some cave or something? All my homies- all the homies hate the Sunless city. Sunless city sucks. Try the tower. Okay. Oh, like, try, like, getting in the tower and, like, the tower moving? Like... I don't know what you mean by that, if I try the tower. Uh-oh. That's wrong. Oops, should I not have done that? Yeah, another plant. Okay. I think I was here before. This is Drain's Deep, yeah? Just looking for that location. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is Giant's Deep with, like, the fucking swirlies, yes? I think this is Giant's Deep. Okay, this this one is new to me, like for being in this tower. Okay. For a hollow now. Not entirely correct. Rid of filter now. <laughs> See, can I go up and not fall into the the atmosphere, like the upper atmosphere. Don't go up. Okay, just kidding. Just kidding. Never mind. It was all jokes. It was all jokes. Don't worry. I mean... Oh, I only found it on one planet every time. Look, they're the ones that put the atmosphere fucking, like, low as fuck, okay? Well, you're giving me a jetpack and a low amount of atmosphere? I was gonna tab out the stream, I'm going to vanish. This might not be the place. Is this just not the place? Void, thanks for the hydration. As they actually brought me my water bottle. A big boof. I still gotta get some stickers on here. Um, someone was actually nice enough to send me some stickers from, like, their sticker company. Um, and I want to put at least, like, one of those on there. Your water bottle? Is this not it? It doesn't seem like a good place to be. I'm just going to leave. And if I'm wrong, you can tell me after I've failed once through. Um, cause, I don't know. It doesn't seem like- it's not- it's not the vibe. Okay, I'm trying to get to this one now. It's the only one I haven't been to. No. Yes. I mean, this looks good. I feel like this looks like this would be the one. Like, don't go up is what you're saying. Shit. The plight of taller people always, uh... Where's he actually fly out of the atmosphere? What is this sound? Oh. I'm glad we're short. Being short is, like, not too bad, except you can't really fully take advantage of higher cabinet space when you're short. Um... I mean, a step stool can help a lot, but it only goes so far. Is this not a good place? None of these places seem like the good a good place. Because I can't go up, right? Like, I'll die. So... What's the answer here? I 
I feel like I've been to all these. Yeah, I've definitely been to all of these, and none of them seem right. None of them seem right. I feel like it would be this one. This would just yeet me out of the planet, right? I don't know. I feel like this needs to be the one because it's the last one I'm on. Yeah, don't eat yourself out of the planet. Um... Is the tower always at the same distance compared to the pole? I don't think so. So should I just go into the tower a bunch of times? You want the tower to be as close to the North Pole as possible. But like, how do I... If I turn this off, the whole thing moves though, doesn't it? Like, how do I just move the tower? Try Giants Deep and see if you can move the tower to the North Pole. There's one planet with a very clear North Marker. Okay. That's what I figured. Like, I figured there's gonna be one where it's like, this is the right one. Oops. Does that matter? Is it bad that I, like, accidentally did that? Am I still okay? Am I still alive? I don't think it's this one. What's the meaning of life? How is the universe this old? Where are my parents wrestling? Um, <laughs> the tower can also appear in multiple spots on the same planet. Yeah, so my question with that is like, how do I move the tower only and not just the place. Should I just keep rotating through all the planets? Like, what's the situation here? Oh, what the fuck happened? What? What was that? This is the death music, right? Was that supposed to happen? This is the end. You can spin around while outside the tele the tower and it'll teleport. But then how would I get back to the tower to like teleport within that? You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Got me spinning like a ballerina. No! Look for it further north. Oh. Well, you have to find it again. And you always want to be as far north as possible. No! It's over. It's over! Ah, uh, okay. So it's like I get into the tower where it's already as far north as possible. Is that what you guys mean? It's okay, we'll find it again and it'll be all good. Got me spinning like a ballerina. The victory is so close it's palpable. We're really close. I feel like we're uh, like stuff's actually happening. Um, I can palpitate it. General Palpatine. The sand, it's so coarse. Not like you. Or something like that. Some, something like that or other. Okay. In my completionist run of Outer Wilds, there were five trips into the sun five musicians found. Um, it's coarse and irritating gets everywhere. Only five? I don't know. I definitely I definitely have flown to the sun less than a dozen times, but I don't think that's really the flex that I might think it is, so you know.
Okay, let's see. You don't have your dozen sun trips punch card filled out. There's Dark Bramble. There's... Where is the moon? Where is the moon? Quantum functions. Conjunction, junction. What's your quantum function? Uh, Timber Hearth has one regular moon, so that's not it. This looks kind of like something. No, not really. This is Dark Bramble. So you don't float away. How many times have you immediately killed yourself by forgetting your suit? I think only once, to be honest, because now I like put on the suit before I even fly. Which is really like decrease the amount of um, suffocation for forgetting the suit. I did so many times. She's been shockingly good at remembering to put suit. Yeah, like I, I've literally, I think once, like, because like the one time I made that mistake, I just never made it again. Sometimes they're just good to match the velocity so that you don't float away. Um, where is this moon at? That everyone's always bragging about. Let's see. Where is the moon? We got tower shard, museum shard. Conjunction, junction. What's your quantum function? Tower shard. Museum shard. Oh, there's the moon. There's the moon. It's like not a very good picture, but. Oh! Help me! Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Well, that sucks. Oh. oh. Is my ship at least on this planet now, still? Where is the ship? Autopilot ain't your friend. You know, I guess not. I guess not. Maybe the ship is broken in half. Yeah, like, I feel like the ship isn't too bad, but I don't know where it is anymore. We can still get to this moon, though, if we really try, I think. Come on now. Wait, is this even the moon? What is this one? This is it. Can I get there on my own? Don't know if your ship is junk. You'll be on the moon until you reset anyway. I mean, the all pilot is the friend trying to desperately undo the damage already done by heading accelerate too long. Let me get there. Come on. Come on now. Oh. It would be really cool if I got here somehow still. But the odds of that are kind of diminishing. Come on. I did so many t times. It was my preferred uh, method for restarting the loop. Your acceleration is slowing, so yeah. Come on. I'd restart. You want a good amount of time there. <laughs> Wait. I think I, I thought I already had a picture of it. Is this the picture? Come on now. No! So mean. Okay. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Oh, okay.
hooking up space faring uh societies to final frontiers um you know what i think i am going to use this time to just quickly run to the restroom so give me a second here um we're gonna do the brb real fast i'm probably also going to come back with um a pastry of some kind so i'll be right back Hi, thanks for the gifted sub, uh, Void. I appreciate it. Uh, I had to take a shower. Did you do the quantum moon thing? I have not done it. Um, I have not done it yet, but I've gotten to the moon. And here we have, um, some hostess pastries. And I have one Reese's cup left as well. Reese's cups, Reese's cups. Beat it up, beat it up, beat it up. Um. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Don't mind me just like loudly opening this. Cool, then I didn't miss it. Okay. No, we were actually waiting specifically for you, Gomez. It's not for any other reason. Not because I keep falling into um, different planets or just like getting yeeted out of the atmosphere by my own ignorance. Um, we were actually just killing time. I appreciate it. I was gonna get some shawarma. Hope I don't miss anything, BRB. Sure thing, Void. Thanks. Let's see. Ooh, okay. We're gonna find. Oh God. We're gonna find the planet. Is this it? No, this is the other moon. Is this it? It looks like it. This little thing. Yes, this is it, I think. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, I'm holding X. I'm holding X to hold the velocity. I'm holding the velocity. Okay, well, you know what? That's okay. Hmm. Woo, okay, let's see. Can I fix all this stuff? Yo, what's up? Hey, V Silent, how's it going? We're here and we're gonna beat this game today. It might take us kind of a while, but that is the plan. 
Okay, so here's my thing about these. Um, God, there's some it's like a fly in my face. How do I find? I want to get the tower closer to the North Pole, is what y'all were saying. So, I mean. How do I make that happen? There's my ship. There's the tower. I feel like the tower is in the same spot as before. You know, like, okay. Can I find the tower through... Now it seems like it's closer to the north to the north, so maybe that's good. I was confused this game with and another with each other. Outer Wilds and Worlds, yes. This seems pretty close. I don't know. I don't even know if this is what you guys meant. So now we're on wherever this is. Oh, the Timber Hearth. Could this be it? Yes, couldn't think of the name. Could this be it? Okay, wait, shit, what do I need to do on the- this thing? What do I need to do now? I actually don't remember. Fuck. To get to the sixth location. Oh my god, what do I need- what do I need to do, though? Do I then just go in here? Is this, like, north enough? Like, now's not the time for games. No, it's gotta be closer. Okay, so... What do- what is a pole? What is the pole? Do you expect to finish- Do you expect to find item slash cave behind waterfall- Oh yeah, 100%. Wait, is this a hint? Right on the North Pole. Like, I need to get this thing right on the North Pole? Okay, I was like... <laughs> yeah, move close. Okay, not a hint, just a conversation piece, okay. Is this then correct? Because this is on the North Pole? I think you were close to before. This is like, I'm standing right on the North Pole. Okay. So do I then close this? And I know I'm like asking for a lot here. I just like, this is so hard to get working. Do I now like turn off the lights and then turn back on the lights? And then I'll be in the sixth location? Is that what's going on here? Let me know. Yep. Okay. Okay. Recall the rule of the sixth location. It's like, you gotta be on the North Pole, but like, I'm just worried about it. People keep asking me to recall the rules and I do not know, cause they leave my log in the ship and I'm not in my ship anymore. How many icons are on the wall? Well, there's six, so I don't really understand what the sixth location is, cause I feel like I've been to all these. Call the launch code from the ship? What? One of them has a weird one, right? Stay in here. Oh, shit, it's too late. Okay, okay. So it's the spiky one. Where it was, the door was barricaded then. Okay. So it's the spiky boys, the sixth location. Cause I couldn't walk out of the door on this one. Yeah, do you remember what's supposed to be? No. 
This is it, okay? But like now what? I actually don't even like well now now what do we do? What was why did I come here? You did it. But why am I here? Okay. Explore. Okay, so now I'm just this is a new place to explore. Buy yourself a milkshake in the 1920s. Okay. I'm scared I'm gonna fall out of the planet. Hello? Is anybody out there? To get a picture of the planet? Oops. So you don't fall off, maybe. As long as you don't ha use a jetpack, you cannot fall off the planet. I know, but I'm like so bad at not using my jetpack. Oops. Oops. Like, what is this? That looks like it sucks me into oblivion. Is it not? Who the fuck is this? Yo, everyone that I see like you is dead. Bitch! Uh-uh, he gonna square up. This is a Souls game now, let's go. Shit, he's about to fucking whack me in the head with the stick. Okay, why? The boss fight starts now. <laughs> right? Bitch, where do I put this in here? Where do I put this? I have the stone, where can I put it? Already holding the... Insert explain stone? Where can I insert it, though? Besides back into... Is there like a little slot? Got a little slot for me? Hold on. Sir? Sir? The pedestals. Where are the slots? Oh, these slots? They look like really shitty. <laughs> okay, yay. Okay, now what? See the one explain? Identify? I what? Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Oh, just kidding. There's shit here. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me just redo this whole thing. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. I don't know why he can't just tell, you know, tell me what's up, you know what I mean? Like... Oh, there he goes. Now he's doing his thing. They do not speak your language. <laughs> I've never met your kind before. They only speak in swirls. Swirlies. Janet, we brought the dev in here to talk to you. And you just, uh, shot all over the pedestals, so he laughed. <laughs> Gatekeeping. <laughs> Gatekeep girl, girl boss. Okay. Um, I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak to you. I particularly admire your four eyes. Oh, thank you. Uh, there are so many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. Oh, that's, that's very nice of him, because I'm not even from here. Um... Okay. Oh, this is so cute. Look at him. He's like out here making his swirlies. This is the quantum moon where we both are standing. Despite also orbiting the other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Okay. Would you say it's the echo of an eye, or would you not? Hello? We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself, my clan believes it dwells in an extreme distant orbit around this star system.
Um, I am Solonam. Oh, no, my. My client arrived in the star system before my birth, and now we call it home. Yeah, getting them ship log updates. You love to see it. You live to see it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now the explain stone. Put it in here, and then... Oops, sorry. Sorry. Just give me new stuff. Yeah. I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however, perhaps you came from another star system as my clan originally did? Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon service does, while at the eye. From this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, um, it's likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum, thus the eye is likely also quantum. In fact, this moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum, the same way the area surrounding the quantum shards that landed on the planets eventually became quantum too. Okay. Look at all these updates. There is a fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally there is uncertainty. This uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, the uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect. As I imagine you've seen elsewhere in this star system. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. But what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? <clears throat> Excuse me. Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. 007 Quantum of Solomon. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Um, excuse me. All right. Um, I am on my first pilgrimage as a quantum moon. All know mine, my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even um, though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. I've journeyed here to be close to the eye. While the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. Okay, cool. Does he have anything else to say from like if I put both of these together? There are two tenets of my philosophy. To seek and to understand is our way of living. Wait, what now? Am I just done now? Because I put all of these into the slots. Is that over? You might be done. Okay. This would be a sick cosplay. Hello. Did you combine the blue ones? Ooh, no, I didn't. I didn't combine the blue ones. I put all the blue ones with each of these, and I put these two together. Look, I felt like they didn't. Swarm a mission failed. Oh no. I thought they- I didn't think they'd go together. Also though, hold on. Um... Yeah! <laughs> Was your inquisitive spirit should the probe up? Yeah, that makes sense. Actually, I don't know why I didn't think of that. It just gets all staticky. Okay, let's see what this guy has to say. Um, this is your first time on the quantum moon. It's my first time here. 
If you've come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. Oh, thanks. That's very nice of you. Um... Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? What do you imagine the effects of the conscious observer might be? Maybe the game would be done. I don't know. <laughs> I don't- I don't know. Now you got me playing Outer Wilds along with you, I believe. Solanom is actually a she. Oh, okay. Um, we do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. Oh, I love you, Solanom. Solanom. Nom. Solanom. You're my best friend that I ever had. Been with you such a long time. You're my sunshine. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm pretty sure these two already have gone together because that's how things work, but just to double check, I want to make sure that I have them. Yeah, like. Right, right, right. Okay, cool, cool. I figured, I figured, I figured. Because this one has gone to all of them. So hold on, hold on. I want to put them in the right spot. But these two haven't gone together yet. I'm pretty sure the Herthians use they, them, but the Nomai use he and she. I think so too. Yeah, I thought I saw uses of him, her, slash she, her. Yeah, I don't know. I think the Nomai are just like they, I believe. Or not the Nomai, the Herthians. Uh, I imagine you've noticed the quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location is currently orbiting. For instance, the moon looks quite different when orbiting Giants Deep than orbiting the Hourglass Twins. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in its different forms, the eye, being this moon's primary location, must be similarly malleable. From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon locked to one specific version Lo sorry, the quantum moon becomes locked to one specific version of itself when it is consciously observed. But what happens if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? Been with you such a long time. You're my sunshine. Okay. Like many of my clan before me, I journeyed here, um to see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye. This is the closest, sorry, any of us have come to seeing the eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Oh, that's weird. So have I been dead this whole time? The classic, the classic move. Um, okay. So now we can do, so the eye has been with these first two. It just hasn't been with the last one. And then this last thing has been with everything, I think. Many of my clan have believed the eye called for, to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe the eye was mal malevolent, to have lured my clan to the star system only to have vanished from them completely. But I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it becomes my fondest hope to see the eye itself sometime Someday, but I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a right that I'm not entirely alive. Um, the sixth location starring Bruce Willis. Um, do is am I now done? I think I'm done now. Like, I think I've done all of the things that are here, right? I've paired, like, each of these with this, each of these with this, this with each other. Everything with this one, everything with this one, and everything with this one. Um, the, that definitely sounds like one of the straight, one of his straight to videos. Um. Do I just eat myself into here? No, it's probably not true. Like, if I'm gonna restart the cycle, I might as well just, like, jetpack up into space, right? Or I don't know. I don't wanna- it took me a long time to get here, so I just wanna, like, touch base with y'all on... 
Is this the end of my quantum moon journey? Probably it. Okay. Ugh, I just don't want to have to come back here. Like, after the fact, you know what I mean? Okay. I'm gonna give it, like, a little bit more time. For someone to be like, oh my god, you forgot to check the southmost border of something, but... I'm guessing this is it. My new friend. Hello! I believe you're done with the quantum moon. Why don't you check the North Pole of Giant's Deep? Since you were inside the hurricane. Looking at guides, it's unintelligible. <laughs> Since it- Okay, um... Sure! I mean, the moon tower inside Giant's Deep. Thank you. Okay. Play 4 is always coming in clutch. Especially with this game, like... It's very convenient to have a, a moderator who knows this game so well. But the PlayForward was the one who wanted me to play this game. Also, and maybe it's because you guys helped me a little bit more, maybe it's because the quest was clearer to me, but this is probably the most fun I've had playing this game since I started it. Because I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I felt like I really had some form of understanding of what was going on. It's not a hint, just curiosity. Well, yeah, like, I just don't want to waste, you know, my, um... How do I get this thing to reappear, though? I don't want to waste my, um... This cycle. I don't actually know what will happen if you eat yourself into the hurricane-looking thing. Right? Here it is. Hey, Ruben, thanks for the follow. Okay, so... Oh, that was convenient. The eye of the hurricane. Yeah, there might not be anything here. Yeah, it's just water. I mean, it's cool. Okay, cool. I don't actually know what will happen if you see yourself in the hur into the hurricane looking thing. It looks like an Elden Ring boss area. It kind of does have that drab, like, darkness to it. Um, let me go back to the eye area, actually. Because I want to try to eat myself into the thing then. Like, if I can't find anything else, then I'm going to eat myself into the... Right, this is the death music, right? It's been like 80 hours and I don't know how- it hasn't been 8 hours, it's been like 8. But I still don't know. Well, it's been more than 8, but I still do not know. Not the death music. What is the death music? I never know what it is. Oh, this is the death music? See, that's what I thought. See, I figured we we're just gonna we're gonna end by like throwing ourselves into this thing. Is the sub counter three out of five? It should be. Oh, I thought this was just like the same person dressed differently. Yeah. Oh shit. Ugh. I don't like that. Am I just on Timber Earth right now? This is Timber Earth, right? Like Timber, the quantum moon of Timber Earth, I think. Spoopy. Yeah, for some reason it didn't seem like it updated, but it should be three out of five. I, I just let it auto update. So I don't feel like going in manually messing with it too much. What can I mess with it? Let me see. How is it set? Yeah, I just set to like what today's subs are, so. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't update. 
it might have been because I was on a different tab when you sobbed, like you, where you had gifted a sub to Sarah and I think one other person. Um, but yeah, okay. So every time I was seeing that body, was that always Solanom? I thought that was just like people of that clan. You know what I mean? Like, what's up with that? Most likely, Solanum. Am I saying their name right? Solanum? Solly? Sol? Okay. So. Okay. 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 Okay, that's right, motherfucker. Solanum. That sounds better. It's a, a cyclical structure that generates a strong gravity field upward. I recall a Nomai shuttle. I recall the Nomai shuttle from the quantum moon. A Nomai named Solanum. Ah! Like, ah, here we go. Her shuttle. Okay. Solanum landed her shuttle at the quantum moon south pole and prepared to make rest of the journey on foot. Visitors. Hold on, sorry. To the quantum moon, always arrive at the South Pole for reasons unknown to the Nomai. I met a living Nomai named Solanam at the South Pole. The quantum eye, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. At this location, the quantum moon becomes reflected in the eye itself. The eye is likely the source of all macroscopic quantum phenomena in the solar system. Solanam wonders what would happen if a conscious observer were to end the eye. Solanam has an hypothesis that she may not be entirely alive. Um, quantum shrine, you know, my shrine that wanders about the quantum moon. You ever called the rule of quantum imaging? You ever, right? Da, 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 da. Hearth is pronounced hearth? Hearth. Hearthians. That makes more sense, kind of. I was able to land on the surface of the quantum moon. I found a dead Nomai in a spacesuit near the South Pole. Okay. Like Hearthstone. Okay. There's still so much stuff here, though. Okay. I have a couple questions. Um, Esker says that Atler's North Pole, marked in red minimap, is a great spot to listen to other travelers' music with a stethoscope. Esker is growing a crop of trees in their camp. Okay, I have some questions. Do I need to, like, get all of these question marks answered to, like, beat the game? Like, what is... Like, what is my goal here? I no longer know. I had just my quantum moon plans and that was like the extent of my ideas. Um, and like, why does this still have a question mark? Like, why does this still have a question mark? I feel like I heard all of the travelers. Am I missing travelers? Coming in blind outer wilds, I can assure you all, I am lost. That's my only... That's my number one confusion right now, now that I've done that. Um, is it just because there's more to explore on some of them? Like if I go to, hold on, let me, whoop, 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 whoop. if I do map mode, like for instance, our favorite place, the Sunless City, there's still more to uh, explore here. Is that like why I'm not done? Some key ones probably. Okay. I bet it's just the one room in the Sunless City. I have no idea what room that is, too. I've looked so hard for it, Jason. Like, I have no clue what this is. There are only a few main things you need to actually know to beat it. Should I go to the Sunless City again? I hate the Sunless City. Like, I genuinely... It's the worst city in the solar system. Should I just go there? Let's just go there and see what happens. Have you been to the Angler Fishes? I have. There are people that think, though, that I maybe missed something there. Oops. So, but I think if that was true, wouldn't they, like, mark that area as, like, more to explore there? I think that would be the case. Oops, hold on. I don't know. I thought you saw from the outside. Wait, you went into the angler cave? Yeah, I did go into it. Like, where I'm in the fish's mouth and stuff. I also saw it from the outside. But may but people were saying, like, chat has previously predicted that I might have missed one of the things written on the wall. Because people said that, like, oh, there's a couple things around the wall and, like, maybe you missed one of them. Or, you know, written in the cave. Which is totally possible, but I don't know if... 
is that considered part of the sun of the city? Like, I just don't know. So, I did um, recently find more stuff in the sun of the city, um, but it still wasn't all of it. Out of curiosity, how spoiled, how spoiler erred <laughs> would you want the help? Um, as little as you think you can get away with, but as much as you feel is needed. So, like, at this point, like, I would be very cool with someone being like, actually, don't worry, you know, like, if you guys know, like, what I need to do to beat the game. And if you're like, to be honest, on the city, like, you're fine. Or if you're like, yeah, I think there is something there, then I guess I'd go. I guess DM me if you're really not sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of at that point, because I just did a bunch of stuff about spoilers. Yeah, that works too. The chatter, oh, the chatters, yeah, 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 if you, yeah, do you have DMs open on, on Twitch? Yeah, take take it up with play it forward. Um, Cause you know, you guys definitely like have helped me throughout the game. Like I had some help with the um, getting the tower to the North Pole for the quantum moon stuff. But like other elements that wasn't part of it was like figuring out, you know, how to get there, whatever. It's weird. I know what to do, but I don't recall how to explain it. Um, yeah, that's fair. I mean, not everyone has like the perfect memory of this game. Oh, okay. Also, hold on. Let me go to where this in the city actually is. Can I fit in here? Please let me fit in here. I don't want to walk all the way over. Don't make me walk all the way over here. Oh, I hate you. Okay, it's not there. Fuck. Now I have to, like, walk all the way around here. And find where the one spot is. At least I got my oxygen back. It's by like that, the gravity cannon actually. It doesn't sound like a giant's deep has been completely explored. A few streams ago, she visited all of the floating islands. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like I, there's like stuff missing from everywhere. And I'm just not sure like what is deeply needed versus what is just like, oh, you could find this and it'd be fine. I believe I'm missing some stuff on, honestly, a lot of the planets. Whoop. Come on. Come on. Come on. But I'll look at, after I die here, we'll look back at my, my, uh, log again and see. What's going on? Fuck. Okay, here we go. Here we go. There you go. So yeah, with the Sunless City, I think I'm missing stuff in the Eye Shrine District, but I don't know for sure. A big thing highlighted is highlight text in the rumor screen. If it's highlighted, you haven't been there, and you probably need to find it. So the opposite lamp. So the opposite the lamp controls. Have you checked the room that has the cactus in front? It's not a shrine. Maybe not. Let me see. A room that opposite of these controls are a room with the cactus in front. Hold on. Hold on. I'm like stuck. A room with the cactus in front. A room with the cactus in front. A bit higher. Like here? This is like the eye shrine district though, so probably not. Up here? It's like two floors of the way to turn on all the lights. How do I turn on all the lights? Just like by moving this thing? A room with the cactus in front. A room with a cactus in front. This one? This room? I thought I had. Maybe I haven't. Let me see. Isn't this where I came out of originally? Yeah, the fossil one. I have. Again, there's like some theories that maybe I 
Cactus in front of the door. Is this not a cactus in front of the door? Let me see. Locking the door. Oh, but it's hot. It's around this height. Mm. I don't know. You're on the right floor. Oops. Okay. Well, let's go through this thing real fast. Oh, fuck. Oops. Use the sign to remember what you've been missing. I missed one area because I was just trying to remember. Use the sign. Use the sign to find out what you're missing. Okay. Stepping stone cave. Uh. Mm. Is this something? No. No. Seems like it was a bit left of the scout. A bit left of the scout, okay. Look, the scout is still out there, so I could... A bit left of the scout. being blocked by a cactus like this stuff is it like in this hole I'm not seeing anything up here hmm inside there okay so we're in here the floor under this. I absolutely hated getting up into the anglerfish cave. The floor under this? It's tough because there is that delay in chat, so I'm like, I might be botching your directions. The chant the odds are more than zero. Damn. Yeah, I did the angler uh, fish thing. There is a slight possibility that I missed something in that room, though, still. So I might end up doing it again, but I, I did do it. This room. What room? Ugh, <laughs> I know. I'm so sorry. It's the, it's the chat delay. Do you mean, like, this high up room? Is it, like, up the elevator or down the elevator? I think you said it was down the elevator. I call that a little warp the elevator. Like, I'm looking, and I'm not seeing much of anything. With windows. There's ghost matter area, tricky to... Middle-ish cactus blocking the entry. Middle-ish cactus, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, this room. Okay, I kind of see. Yeah, there's like some stuff in here. Yeah, there's stuff in here. Okay. Okay, that room has text. Yes, it does. Um, how the heck do I get in here? Uh, 
Oh no. Hey. Oh God. How do I get in here? Let me in. So maybe from up top, I go down the sand? Is that maybe the trick? Also, I'm dying. I just gotta remember where this place is at. Ah, that's what you meant by a cross. Yeah, like I'm thinking of going up from the top and then down then? I don't know why, but Ninja, Ninja released. Oh no, yeah, it's okay, I'll come back. A video with a piece of advice for new streamers and he said you should have your viewer list open to welcome new viewers as they come in and it sounds like horrifying advice. Yeah, that's like scary. Um, I don't know why he gave that advice. Well, I guess it goes back to like, and obviously, you know, there's a lot of, um, drama surrounding like ninja and the way he kind of operates as like a streamer community member and like a business person we're kind of putting that aside for a second and just talking about the fact that he's like massively successful um i think advice like that is a good example of how not everyone who can do can teach like obviously he has built um a very successful career for himself as a streamer but that doesn't mean necessarily mean that his advice is like the ultimate advice even though you would think it would be because it's like but well, wouldn't I want to like learn from the most successful or like one of the most successful streamers to ever do it? It's like maybe, but like he's, you know, that doesn't automatically make you a good teacher. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's not good advice. Uh, everyone actually tells me not to do that. So there's that. Well, he was a new streamer like 10 years ago. So maybe it was um, decent advice back then. Yeah, and like I can see an element of value in that, but like generally what I've seen, I think what you've seen, what we've all seen is that people recommend you don't do that because it spooks people out from like lurking. Going near the, uh, yes, it does. Um, I just, I think the reason I didn't do that and maybe I'm, was misremembering my own um, levels is I think I just decided to die because I, um, what's the word? I was already running out of fuel, I think. Sometimes there's fuel tanks by the trees, though. Uh, going near mad bees will fill your sting. What? <laughs> the sting on ometer. Okay, hold on. Every now and then, this can be landed like really easily. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, I thought I could see it more easily from this angle and I couldn't. Oh, it's not, it's right here, okay. I saw a TikTok of a grumpy teacher. Um, in class, mentioned the, oh, the grumpometer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Brother Stills, thank you for the sub, um, four months sub in over here on the channel, I appreciate it. Um, enjoy those tier one emotes, it's me and my whole family. Um, mine is my dad, everyone's always, uh, the, the fabled, like, dad emote or dad appearance i've asked my dad about coming on my stream before and he said that uh he just is like doesn't want to <laughs> he said he's camera shy so that's fair uh and he was like the grumpometer you don't say thir oh yeah um it's grump it's not the grumpometer it's the grumpometer you don't say the thermometer it's a thermometer yeah i do remember that now actually pretty good stuff okay so I think this time we're going to do it. And I don't think we've been to that room before. It could be the Grumpometer, though. Okay, here we go. The legend says Janet was spontaneously born out of clay and struck by lightning. What? Um, okay. Where the heck is this thing at? I think it's this one. Fuck! Okay, now it's all, it's all good. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. It's a common, what am I missing in this room thing? Okay, so. Can 
I not just... Yeah. Okay. The music's so sad here. Okay. Oh. Ooh. I just like spin like crazy over here. Okay. Where is my little elevator? Soundtrack so good. Soundtrack good. Let's see. Hold on, I need to take like a second because, ooh, I started just spinning in this room and I'm like, what's going on? Okay, and then also I kind of want a Kleenex as well. Give me a second. Okay, let's see. So. I feel like I'm just like going in these weird circles and I cannot stop myself. Here we go. So I was thinking, here's my scout. So it's gonna be one of these holes then. Shoot, this is the wrong one. Ooh, thank you. Yay, Isaiah brought me a single chicken tender. Hell yeah. I feel like that made it sound like he doesn't like, like purposely gave me like not enough, but um, he eats like way too many chicken tenders, but they are kind of fun, so I usually ask for like one of them. One chicken tender? That's love. Um, we got really close. I just went to the wrong one. Nice plating. Yeah, it's got some hot sauce on the side. Hello, how's the exploring going, astronaut? Oh, what a what a cute message. Uh, what's up? The best user. Um, living up to the name over here with uh, the kind words. It's going. Um, and again, I think, um... What I like too with like the the back seating, like I think this was a great nod. It's like okay, you you told me where it was, then you're like, yeah, look in the room behind that. It has something in there, and now it's up to me to like actually get in there. So this one was too. This was the this was bad. This one could be it though. Yes, we did it. Now, did we even need to do this? I don't know, but we did it. So yeah, uh, we just went to the quantum moon today, so that was exciting. Um, okay, what's been computing shuttle trajectories? Um, you know, honestly, I'm just gonna scan these real fast because I'm scared that I'm gonna run out of oxygen and then we'll read them after. Okay, so it says, what's been computing shuttle trajectories to the sun station? Don't worry, the station is in such a low stellar orbit. We've constructed a different, safer way to travel from Ashwin. Uh, that would be Pi. I told her we wouldn't be traveling there by shuttle. The sun station it doesn't have a landing pod, but she also said that she knew. It's pure theoretical exercise on my part. Who does love computing a good low stellar orbit trajectory? Um, I look forward to working with you, but also I'm relieved it will be easier to return to Ash Twin regularly. Yeah, Shiblog updated! <laughs> um, I saw a tweet shouting out lurkers with an image of someone doing a 14th month streak followed by their four first message in chat um interesting yeah i don't know i don't know what's up with there's just a lot a lot going on quantum moon is fun what's your gold one we're, we're out here be trying to beat the game and i think i'm fairly far away from being the game but like we're playing um maybe not until we beat the game but i will beat the game today like maybe i'll take a break um but that is the plan. That is the plan, that is the goal. I don't think I ever found this room. Well, then maybe I really didn't need to find it, but... Well, we're just trying to knock things out. Oh, hell yeah, that's the spirit. Um... Oh. It is kind of hot, though. He was right. It's good, though. Ooh. 
Love me some chicken tendies. Oh, now I understand what your message is uh, play forward, where, like, people will just have, like, their first message in chat, um, after, like, not talking forever. Yeah. Um, yeah, you never know. You never know who's there, uh, lurking. I actually never checked the users tab, to be honest. I mean, I don't think I'd recognize anyone's username that I didn't already know anyway, but... Okay. So. What now? Do I still have stuff to explore in some of the city? Where the heck is this thing? Let's look at... Finally! God. Straight hot sauce or fancy sauce? Love some mango habanero. It's just straight up hot sauce. It is uh, Frank's red hot hot sauce. I actually never had Frank's until I met Isaiah. Oh. It's spicy. Before Isaiah, the only hot sauce I used was Tabasco or Valentina. But yeah, Frank's is like pretty damn good. Um, yeah, you're pretty good at remembering people. Oh, thanks, Void. I try. At least to like, I mean, we all won't do it at, you know, know your face or something because usually I don't see people's faces. Um, unless maybe they have their like a, um, a real person Twitter profile or something. But yeah, it's not, not too bad. Um, Let's see, classic buffalo sauce. Um, oh well, I'd had uh, the flare. Yeah, the flare, right. Vegas makes honey garlic hot sauce that's on point. Ooh, I've never tried their other stuff. Um, but yeah, a lot of times when I'm making like wings and stuff, I'll use Frank's as the base and like have butter and other stuff in there, you know? All right, is it the sun station they have to go to? Yep, I was, yep. I'm afflicted. Um, I transfer part cartoon profile picture syndrome. I mean, yeah, like it's fun to have um, little characters and avatars and things. And then too, if people change their profile picture, I like forget, like in my mind, like they have their that is their face, like their picture. Um, that's another reason I also don't change my profile picture too often. I try to make it easy for people to remember who I am. Um, let's see, Sun Station. Is it on my building? Need a power. From Ash Twin. So I need to go to the sun station from Ash Twin, basically, is what this is saying. Here's a salad. Um, let's see. Ooh, I am conveniently gay monosis everywhere, though. So if you're ever looking for me at, on a platform, uh, a lot of times I am on that platform and I'm usually as Game Onesis. The only time I'm not Game Onesis is I think my usernames like on gaming platforms are different. Um, but like, I don't really share those with people anyway. Like I don't really add a bunch of people like that. So there's that. Okay. So Ashwood. It sucks to go to Ashwood right away though because there's like nothing to do because the plants are slowly draining. But that would be my guess, but I don't know. We're gonna see. Yo, I could really go for some McDonald's today. Oh my god, what happened? Okay. I thought I was gonna be flying into the sun again. It's okay, we have time to repair. We have plenty of time. Yeah, I don't think I've I don't think I've been to the sun station. Okay, and then the front of it got like cracked, right? Okay, but what's the lore of the game and nicest handle? N oh, the game and nicest oh, like the lore of this game. I'm like, oh my god, I'm barely putting it together. Um, it's Game Onesis, like Dionysus, the god of wine, because I like uh, Greek mythology and I like alcohol. Um, so it's like the god of gaming is sort of the idea. And Dionysus can be pronounced Dionysus or Dionysus, which is another reason that people often can't say my name, because if they recognize the Game Onesis, Dionysus thing, they're like, oh, so you're, you're Game Onesis then. And I'm like, well, I'm not Game Onesis, I'm Game Onesis. Um, and then I also like that it has like Game On in it, because um, gaming. Like gaming, game on. Um, 
so yeah that's the origin thank you for the bits as well void i appreciate it um so as this planet drains let me double check the log and see if i know what the heck i'm doing with this sun station there is a way to safely travel. Oh, that's clever. Thanks for explaining. Yeah, um, the one con of the username, like, it's pretty unique. I can claim pretty easily. An easy way to remember is that Janet is not nice. So if you're saying it that way, it's wrong. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Playboard. Definitely a lot more thought behind the username than my own. The best user, that's a great username. I, and what's nice about, like, you know, and obviously, like, some of you guys might make content, so I'm, I don't mean to imply that you're not making content. But if you're someone that, like, has different names on different places or whatever, you can just have fun with it and just be, like, you know, Crunchy Biscuit or whatever. Like, it's just it's just fun. I'm usually the best username, but it's annoyingly taken sometimes. The best user is, is a pretty fun one. Okay, so. There is no way to safely travel to Sun Station from Ash Twin. Oh, wait. No, no, there is a way. Okay. <laughs> there is a way. The Nomai debated building a Sun Station in order to power the Ash Twin project. Okay, so there is a way. Um, so now we have to think about... Well, I'm going to let the planet drain. For a bit. Um, I think it's draining no matter what, even if I'm in my ship. But I'll probably stay near my ship for a while. Um, okay, God, everything looks scary. Um, we'll, like, wait a couple minutes, and then maybe, like, start exploring the little towers. How much of the astronaut have you explored? I feel like I've explored quite a bit. I can pull up my, um... My log for Ash Twin specifically. Because I've had that question before. Also, I'm a little worried. Am I... Ooh, shoot. Am I, like, sitting right where... Let me park a little farther away. Because I feel like I'm next to... A lot of stuff. Um, but speaking of exploring, let me look at some of these towers. I've been to, like, the big bridge and stuff. Maybe I haven't been to this top part. Maybe that could be a place I go right now. Oops. So first, let me try to go to this thing that's way up top. But then also... Because I don't think I've been in here, maybe? And then I'll go to my ship after that. Oh, it, it shoots me out. Never mind. Donates one page. I just transport everything clip from your export. And in a totally different order. Um, do you have... Okay, so you have found the towers. What have we learned about the towers? Also, Janet, you're not wearing green. Oh, it's today St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, I'm not wearing green. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I don't really do anything for St. Patrick's Day. I kind of just, like, stay out of people's way. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, I, I never was, like, into, like, oh, let's go party, let's go drink or something for it. Like, um, I feel like, yeah, like, I'm just not, not interested in doing that. Um... Maybe if I was of that culture, maybe I'd do something, but I, you know. Um, let's see. So Ash Twin is the question. Okay, so the towers, yes. The general project, though, I have Project Beef. Uh, never seen any two people play this game. Never seen any two people play the game the same, which is cool. Um, so, yeah. Um, Ash Twin Project. In the central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely protective shell. The Namayo plans construct technology capable of producing a 20 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing. I guess I'm not, you know, I love drinking and I, I like, I like beer a lot, but I'm not really a fan of like woohoo drinking binge drinking culture um great now there's a mutant turtle nf2 thing it's incredibly ugly oh that's rough okay much like ember twin um okay so this is changing over time right so what do we got going on here we have I mean, this helps me get to the top of it. Maybe I wait to explore these parts. Mm. I feel like I've been in the towers before. I need a holiday drink. I also drink to accompany a good time. Not to get drunk. Yeah, that's good. Every holiday is a holiday to drink. Um, let's see. I guess I'll wait for these to appear. And then we'll see how we can, like, 
we get ourselves to the sun station? I don't know. Or do I just go straight to the sun station? Can I just fly to it? And do I need to be on Ashtwin to go to the sun station? Maybe. Where's my ship? Where's my ship? There might be uh, something here to warp. That's what I figured because it's that's what the lore says, but. I'm just trying to figure out what would warp me there. The thing you just read about the summit said there was no landing pad, if that helps. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just keep, let it keep draining. Um. Do, do, do. Thoughts on Selena? Selena the single? Selena Kai? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm guessing you mean like Selena, like beady beady bum bum Selena. She's cool. It sucks that she was killed. Or horrible. But if you're asking about Selena, you know, like Latina Selena. Um, I don't actually like know a lot about Selena like that. And it was that show that's sort of mixed on her. But I do find it um pretty cool that you know she's like this big Latina icon, but she actually was never really fluent in Spanish. And um, I find it interesting slash like a mix of inspiring and dis discouraging that she never wanted to sing in Spanish. She only did that because her family was like, that's going to be how you blow up and make money. Like you have to sing in Spanish. Um, and um, so she had that album in English right before she died. I'm glad it was you kind said of it sucks that she was killed or I would have canceled your ass immediately. <laughs> right? Like, his murder's bad. Um, breaking. No, but, um, before she was killed, she had just released, I think, like, her first, either her first album in English, or it was, like, that, you know, the album that had at least English songs, like, the, the I Could Fall In Love, you know, the I Could Fall In Love song. Um, and that's an English song. And I think it's, like, pretty wild that, like, damn, she was finally gonna live, like, the life, creatively at least, that she wanted to live, um, but then she was killed, so, like, that's horrible. But it's also interesting in that, like, you can be very successful and, um, wealthy, like Selena was becoming, and still not be, um, creatively happy or to still have things that you want, and, um, you know, I don't know. There's, um, there's something, like, discouraging and encouraging about that idea, um, that someone could have that kind of success and still be kind of, like, wanting more. Um, for me, it's just kind of a reminder of, like, trying to really create the life that you want as soon as you can because, you know, nothing's guaranteed. Um, and that's what- that's why I like that song a lot, too, because I feel like even if you like her Spanish music more than her English music, I think her English songs, to me, knowing that background, exemplify that you know, joy of finally creating something that you wanted to create and not what you felt like you had to create to be profitable. Um, so anyway, those are my thoughts on Selena. I have no idea if you actually even were asking about that Selena or a different Selena, but those are, those are some thoughts on Selena, on a Selena. So hopefully someone got something out of that. Okay. So this is broken. So I do not know. Damn, that was deep. <laughs> yeah, like I think about that all the time. Um, oh, can I be up here? And do something here. Well, I can get zooped into here, at least. There's some writing. I think I've been in this building before, though. Okay. Do 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 do. Okay. Have I not been in here before? Ooh. I thought I had been in here before.
I wish video game flashlights were brighter than they are. Okay. I think I've been in here before. Some time has passed. I checked in on uh, Pi or P, or I'm not sure how to say the name. How are you and uh, Idaya progressing with the sensation plans? Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail. Right, no, I did read this. Um, I do remember reading the like, oh, it'll fail or not. Yep. I definitely have read this. Which means I've definitely been here. Um, content creation is like outer wilds. <laughs> when you think about it, you find your own way and there's some hints on where to go. Oh, I actually kind of remember being in here and not being able to get through this part. And um, I like died before I could like figure it out. Um, shoop. So that's awkward. Because everything's covered in, like, cactuses. So I don't know where I'd be able to go for this. This was the last puzzle I solved. I remember us having, like, now I'm back to, like, remembering this area. I wonder if I waited too long to do this because now everything is, like, Cactified. But even if there was sand filled up, I don't think it'd like save me that much. I was doing really good for like a second there. Fuck. Fuck. Ah! Check out the something at the other towers. Oh, Jan forgot that that a few streams ago. The spike there are too many spiky boys. Just hold your breath, you know? Do I get like an anti-spike suit? Do I get like a cactus killing spray? That's what I was thinking the last time I was there, but then just like last time I waited too long. So let's like see. The beef is too, I like forget where that's at and it's like so hard to find on the planet. But let's zoop into the space and then we'll go to... Okay. Get up and crack my back. Hold up. Huh. Ooh, that was good. Like a good crack. Hey, kind of funny. Thank you for the raid with a party of 536. What's good? What's good? Uh, someone could do a shout out. I'd appreciate it. Uh, how was Breath of the Wild? I think is what you all were playing over there. Uh, welcome in raiders. Uh, my name is Jay Garcia, aka Game Onesis. Uh, Poetic Suicides. Thank you for the follow. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch, currently playing Outer Wilds. Looking to finish it, because I got my marathon coming up on um, Sunday. If you're running the LA Marathon, let me know. 
so I can be like, yo, we're living the same life. Um, but other than that, what else, what else? It was Breath of the Wild, was it Mike playing, I'm guessing? Um, and then what else? Uh, Emerald Streams, thanks for the follow as well, as well as the Buentes, Weasley, Spilliams, uh, Slightly Sausage, great name. Uh, and a couple other ones that are coming in here. Luke, JV, Ro Bless, Louis Vill... Uh, Vilago, Snuggle Grumps, Primary Coin Gaming, uh, Blue Bandit, Overpriced Coffee. I oh, haven't man, just... prepared at all, but shit, I'll join the LA Marathon. <laughs> See you there. Thanks. Uh, so many. Um, Cemetery Jerry. Oh, shoot. Fuck. Y'all would come in while I fly into the goddamn sun. Um, but this is Outer Wilds. I'm pretty far into the game. Um, why is it spicy? Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. I don't know if it's ever going to go off, but Void, I, I appreciate the, the call out and the bits as well. Um, but yeah, you know, y'all know how Twitch works. Uh, sub if you, you got the bucks and you're interested in the emotes. Uh, if you have Twitch Prime and haven't already used it on something like Kind of Funny Games, you can use it here and get that sub for free. Um, otherwise, though, thanks for just being here, hanging out. Uh, be sure to follow as many of y'all are following now. Um, so that if you're, you know, you're busy, you're tired from the last stream, you can catch the next one. Oh, snap, Scott! Thank you for the sub with Twitch Prime, I appreciate it. Throwing out that concrete example for folks. Um, always, always good. Always good stuff. Um, let's see what else, what else. Uh, Jabroni Trade Incoming. Is that the, is that Mike's raid call out? Hey, K-Smooth, what's good? Um, I'll catch up on anything I miss from chat once I do set the autopilot. So like I said, we're pretty far in this game. Uh, for those who don't really know what Outer Wilds is, because maybe you've only heard about it, uh, it is a space exploration game, so it's very narrative-driven. Um, Genre-wise, I guess I'd put it at an adventure. I guess it's a little open-worldy, too. There's different planets to travel to. It's all interconnected. They missed all the chicken tender action. You did indeed. Um, haven't run the marathon since 2018, but I'm rooting for you. Oh, so, uh, definitely drop any, if you got any tips uh, as someone that's ran it, definitely let me know. It's my first one. So I'm very uh, nervous, but I'm also very excited. Open world puzzle adventure. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. God, what is up with this autopilot? Here it is, here it is. So um, basically the way the gameplay loop works and definitely have had lots of help from chat. Um, thank you all for all the follows coming in, hanging out. Okay, so I'm holding velocity to try to land on this planet, and all the planets have different um, sort of uh, characteristics and behaviors like you'd expect from something happening in space. So this is the Ash Twin planet, um, which is like next to the Ember Twin. Um, this planet's completely covered in sand, and the sand drains to the other planet. So as much as I have felt so much frustration on both of these planets due to that um, sort of extra layer of time crunch involved, um, it's been, it's cool how they like have then sort of the opposite problems, right? I get here and I want to explore, but I can't see anything for a few minutes. Um, I go to Ember Twin and it's like, you, you got to move because uh, you're going to be covered in sand in, you know, a handful of minutes as well. Uh, it's also a loop game. It's a time loop game. Um, I will say most of the time I like either die or finish what I'm doing before the time loop is up, so I don't feel like as pressed for it. Um, thank you for the follow, Captain Colby Jack. I'll just call them out as, as I can see them. Uh, usually I name each of them, but they're coming in so quick. It's, uh, it's, it's hard to, to shout them all out without, you know, having to break up the flow. Uh, if you don't want to play, if you want to play this game, don't watch. The game relies on you finding knowledge. Yes, though also, if you want to play this game and you're struggling, get some help because a, a little bit of hand holding goes a long way. There's a lot to, t I think, to maybe just like, a generalized tips page could be nice if you feel like you're struggling with it. Like a, you know, beginner's guide kind of thing, because it took me a long time to understand what was going on. Um, yes, I am also the editor of Lost and Call, and I have reviews on Pentapixels Void. Thank you for the shout out. Um, but yeah, if you guys don't know or know me already, those who came in, uh, I'm also at Kind of Funny. I'm at MinMax. I do podcasts there. I do reviews there. Um, I do a bunch of stuff everywhere, so... That's cool. I'm gonna go back in the ship and try to loop around and see where the beginning of these structures are. Because in this case, I'm trying to get to this, uh, there's a building that's full of like cactuses. And I'm trying to get there before, um, before it's like totally drained of sand. Hey, um, 
Le Lixar? Lixar? Thank you for the sub. Sub for more chill and thoughtful content, Game and Five Ono. Oh, thanks. That was a voids cheer from like a couple minutes ago, actually. Uh, I've been training for the first half marathon. And your updates have been encouraging. Yeah, the first half. The half's a big deal too. Um, obviously, like the marathon is like one of the um, pinnacles of like the amateur level of the sport. But I remember doing my first marathon in 2013 or 14, and that was like a big deal for me because I had just never gone that far. And training for it was really hard, but um, did it, made it work. I think this is it. I think this might be it. Yes, I think this is the one. If y'all know for sure that's not though, let me know. No, shoot, this is not right, is it? Um, I just discovered how to further customize mod view. I'm powerful, nice. Um, thank you for all the follows coming in. Um, other chat stuff, Janet, we need a KFGD with you and Andrew. Renee, that would be so good. That would be fun, that would be a good time. We should do that sometime. I was on What's Good um, a few months ago, which was fun. And uh, Andrew was there. See, this is not the right area because this is this is the other area. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Uh, Andrew was there. We did this uh, Tiny Tina uh, thing going on. Um, we were there for rec helping reduce like a Let's Play that they use for like promoting um, the post game that they have. I see cactuses though, but yeah, you're right. This isn't the right structure. It's not this one either, so let's just keep on going. Um, Star-shaped spiky one. The towers have indicators on them. Okay, so it's it's not this one. I keep going to this one. Is it? This is the sand. This is the one I just went to. Wait, no. This is. Is this it? No. This is the one I was just at. Wait, hold on. It's across from that. It's across from that. It's across from it. Don't right. get me started on autopilot IS2G. Oh my gosh, this is the one. This is the one. This is the one. I don't know if I waited too long though. I think I waited too long. I waited too long, didn't I? Oof. Hey, uh, we are on a hype train already, actually. Um, hold on, I have a thing for that. Unfortunately, my noise cancellation is still on, so I won't be able to do my full thing but what's up y'all it's a hype train so all aboard play four thank you for the sub over to mon free or fear like sphere um and uh, shout out to any other ones i might have missed i think i caught all the subs at least um I made the puzzles, I could conceptualize them. <laughs> Adam, thanks for the follow. Shoot, see, I waited too long. Now it's like emptied already. I was gonna try to go through it anyway. Like, I waited too long to get here. Which also, is there a way that I can like flag this place more easily for the future? Hey, shoot, fuck. So what I'm trying to do in this case is like, this needs to be full of sands. Enough, no, we're dead. We're dead, we're dead. Fuck, this is so frustrating. I'm just gonna try to go for it anyway because, no, okay. They got a lot on her, it seems. Yes, that's just been so much. Uh, but yeah, Hype Trains, uh, y'all are probably familiar, but it's a time where if you sub, cheer with bits, uh, gift, all that stuff, it fills the hype meter and we get more exclusive emotes. Chugga 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 uh, Poe Susa says, yo, Jan, thoughts and feelings on Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, we actually talked about that at length on PS I Love You XOXO, the last episode. So definitely check that out if you're looking for, like, our full thought. Well, full is extreme, right? Where thoughts are always in progress. But, um, yeah, basically the TLDR is, um, I really like Harry Potter as an IP. Um, when this game, I think, first got announced, I was really looking forward to it because I think it does sound like it has a lot of promise, um, or potential, rather, more so than promise. Um, but, you know, considering so much of J.K. Rowling or Rowling, I feel like I never say her name right, um, so much of her very blatant transphobia um, and very, like, active and aggressive um, 
moves in terms of not just how she talks about trans people, but um, in like some of the merchandise she even sells. And like, it's very much become a big part of her brand, um, which is a choice um, in and of itself. And um, hold on, let me toggle this on. Oh, I got our total up there. So yeah, for that reason, I'm, I'm really not excited about the game as a result. And I'm not sure if I'll play it. I'm leaning on no. Um, and also just because there's so many games, I feel like I can easily just skip that one. <laughs> Is it gonna, oh, it didn't come in because you swore. Ah! You can't swear for the Texas Beach, but yeah, uh, fuck JK Rowling. No, genuinely, though. Like, gen genuinely. I genuinely fuck agree rolling with that. and all the TRFs. Yes. Um, so that's my overall feelings for it. I will say, and, you know, I think the people that um, understand where we're coming from or like, yeah, I totally get that. Maybe they might feel the same way. <laughs> all my homies hate transphobes. <laughs> Y'all are really good. I love y'all. We'll see if the other one comes up. I gotta find this place. FJK rolling. There we go. There you go. Y'all y'all are getting it. Um Ooh, what else was I gonna say? Right, you know, obviously I think there are people that really want to be mad over um me having that take and other people having that take. Um, but again, I don't think if you, you know, play the game or buy it. I don't necessarily think that means that you're a bad person or that you're not an ally, but it's definitely some, a part of the conversation. And for me, as someone that is like, you know, people look towards me for a lot of things like game content. There's a degree of like role modelship there. Um, I just feel like if I played it, I would have to be so like I'd have to. I, I don't know. I think I'd, it'd hurt my audience. Like, I don't want to make people feel shitty by like, hey, I thought you were like down, you're not down, and you know, I don't know, it just doesn't, there doesn't seem like be a, like a great way. The challenge is, the, the coverage is challenging. Um, that said, I probably will at least like find out what went down in the state of play today, um, but you won't, you at least won't see as much from this game from me, specifically because of uh, JK Rowling's like anti-trans energy. And, and let's face it, JK Rowling wasn't perfect before that, so it's like, mm. But yeah, um, but we'll see. It's it's definitely a weird one. Um, but yeah, I don't. I think when it comes to stuff like that, it's always going to be a personal choice, and there's never, you know, a way to really exist in the world and not be consuming something that is a little bit evil. Um, but you know, I think we should be thoughtful at least, and and also be willing to have those conversations about things. So y'all said it's this one, right? The star shape. I think this is the one. But we're gonna see. Um, I've reclaimed my conductor badge, yes. Uh, cool, this is a great time then too where I can actually catch up on chat a little bit. The only thing is I'm wondering where the doorway is. I think this is the one. Let me know if it's not the one. Is it still the one? Still the one I hold you. The only one I dream of. Just came in to see if the boys uh, were live reacting to Hogwarts Legacy gameplay. Yeah, I think... Same deal. Um, a lot of the KF team, if not all, at least in our conversation on PS, I love you. So like me, Greg, bless Barrett. It's just like, hey, it's an unfortunate like circumstance, and like maybe this does change layers of how we cover this game or whether or not we cover this game. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's got a lot going on. Um, the marathon breath. Yeah, I actually have yeah, I have pretty good vocal range, I guess, in terms of holding my breath. Um, so I was wondering what Brittle Hollow looks like before the time loop. Like, is that the first time it gets bombarded in the sand and ash or to go back and forth? Um, thank you for the follow, be chill. Um, yeah, this is the door entrance now. I see the light. She who should not be mean. She's an asshole. It's just that simple, exactly. But like a lot of people are assholes and I play a lot of games from a lot of assholes. That's just fact. Like, and I consume a lot of stuff from like terrible people. Even like us being here on Twitch. Like I love Twitch as a platform, but it's owned by Amazon. And Amazon, you know, typically. Oh no 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 Is there any way I can save this? Oh my ship, I can get back on my ship. Okay, oh my god. So for those who don't know what's going on here, again, the sand goes to this other planet. Fuck, come on. And I was like so close, and then the sand freaking zorked me up. Please. Please, I'm like full full speed. I am freaking pressing down so much. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, y'all. This sucks. 
and I will say like there are elements of like this aspect of the game that I do find just kind of like a little bit overly frustrating where like there will be things you try to do and it's just such a struggle to get them done. Um, and it kind of feels like, eh, did it need to be this much of a struggle? Maybe it didn't, but you know, it's hard to balance challenge with fairness. There is no ethical consumption under capitalism. Exactly. But I think we can still, you know, be mindful or have that be something at play is my thing. Because a lot of, you know, obviously, again, I think a lot of these, a lot of people that take issue with what I have to say, uh, we're never going to be cool with what I had to say. Woo! Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Um, but people being like, oh, well then, you, why are you playing Activision Blizzard games? I mean, first of all, I don't even play Activision Blizzard games on the whole. Second of all, like, I don't think because I, this, the, the idea of doing an all or nothing, um, in terms of ethical purchases is such an extreme, um, that, like, it's just not even worth exploring. Like, I think, you know, again, just because some stuff is bad doesn't mean that you're like, okay, well, I'm just going to consume everything because... Stuff's already evil. Damn it. I think we're just done. We're done. We're done. Oh, this is so rough. Um, hey, Min Max with a raid of party 39. What's good? What's good? Um, what's up, y'all? What were you getting up to? Dangerous golf. What is dangerous golf? And then um, I'm also catching up on chat from uh, from earlier. So forgive me if I'm not directly responding to, to what y'all got going on here. Uh, follow the line of the sand vacuum. It's along that. Ah, uh -huh, that's a good tip. That's a good tip, Snug Slacks. But then it ended up backfiring and then I got souped up. Um, the big thing too is that Harry Potter is just okay. Yo, I liked Harry Potter though. I did. I'm not gonna lie. I, it was a moment in my life. Um, which, you know, it, it definitely is rough for fans to have to, you know, deal with all of this uh, as well. Especially in, especially trans fans too. Like that really sucks. Um, other things are things. I'm still gonna check out the state of play later, see what's up, but I, you know, don't know if I'll be supporting. Yeah, I think totally fair. Um, ooh, we got another thing. Again, that's not to diminish personal choice or intent behind choices, just facts of the world, unfortunately. Always yeah, totally. Always stand up what you feel is right. Yeah, I think that's, that's very well said. Um, okay. Here we go. Um, other things we got as I quickly fly over. Um, we got, I'm really, uh, have been really stable, but given the amount of thousand hits being brittle. Oh, the, the planet. Yep. Uh, Gats, thanks for the follow. Hint for this planet. Do you remember anything you've learned about the S looking platforms that I discovered a few streams ago? The P Yo, as far as like um, older Harry Potter games, yeah, my friend has like a crazy story with that PS2 Harry Potter game where she was like, she couldn't save it for some reason and like she played the game all day and then um, there was a, a, a switch in her house that would turn off the power um, and at the final boss, like her mom had hit that switch and her whole game and her whole day was just in the garbage and it is like one of the most tragic stories I've had the privilege of hearing. Um, Bezos heard what you said about him. Yeah, that's why I got sucked up at the sand because Bezos knew that I was talking smack. Um, Jeffrey Bezos. Uh. Yeah, time with exactly. You know, unfortunately, like real, real shit be happening in the world, and some of it's dark as hell. Um, okay, okay, okay. Game's rad. I'm gonna try to quickly catch up on these. I've missed my window. Yeah, I did mess up. So close. Um, choice still matter. Um, nope, not gonna rest. to play. No, she isn't. Okay, thank you for responding. Uh, restart the lube. I did. Uh, shame how much uh, games are dark whistles for some misogyny, for sure. Uh, and then Minmax, how was also, did anyone answer, how was Dangerous Golf, even if you're just like someone the Raiders coming in? Dangerous Golf was the most dangerous to Jeffum's PC. Oh my god. Was it fun though? Like, I, I don't know if y'all were able to like do it. And it was Jeffum playing then, right? Um, have you heard, shred the gnar? I have not shredded the gnar yet. Should I be shredding the gnar? You know, it's funny because I'm going on vacation really soon. And it's always just that question of like, how much do I want to game during this vacation? Because since my work is a lot of gaming, sometimes it can be like, okay, well maybe, maybe I need to like do something else. So I think I'm actually going to watch like a lot of shows and things during that time. 
of my vacation. But after the marathon, I'm also getting um, a hotel. Um, I have a hotel booked with Isaiah to like hang out, relax. Um, what else are we doing? Uh, I have a spa massage planned and stuff. So I'm very excited for this post-marathon life. And honestly, though, I'm like, oh, do I want to bring like my consoles there? Like I kind of do, but then I'm like, maybe I should just watch TV and stuff. So we'll see. Sounds very sweet and cute. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, um, especially in the pandemic, um, which we are still in, though. I know the mandate has lifted uh, the mask mandate. We um, haven't done a whole lot of leisure travel. Even now, it's like kind of more of a staycation vibe, like we're not going to leave the city entirely. Um, but yeah, like it'll just be nice. And then especially when we travel, a lot of times we do end up doing Airbnbs. So it's been like a really long time since I've been in a nice hotel. Um, I was at a hotel when I went to Florida for my friend's wedding, but that hotel was not very nice. Uh, I thought it was gonna look a lot nicer than it did. It looked nicer in the photos. It didn't look amazing ever, but I was like, oh, this is a solid hotel. Um, and then we got there and I was like, I made a grave error and I am sorry. <laughs> Okay, y'all's, uh, my, my failure and your guys' advice has served me greatly here. I think we're gonna be good. Cause now I know, oh, let me just get out of here cause I, I feel like I'm spinning around, I'm, I'm nauseous over the whole thing. Now I know where the sand goes and I think we'll be okay. Uh, then Tom was like, oh, great name. Okay, so we're gonna stay out of the sand's way. Hopefully it doesn't suck up my ship also. I don't know how wide this is. Okay, we can at least stand. We can kind of stand where the scout is and still be pretty safe. Uh, hey, thanks. You're gonna crush the marathon. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. It's so close. Oh, we're so close here. See, if that's me, then that's gonna be where the sand comes from. Oh my god, finally! I really hope some of you have stayed here so you can see the, the fruit of my labor here. It was a pain in the butt to like walk through here. Can I fit through here? Yes. Oh my god. Yay! <sighs> okay, we got up here. We got up here, we did it. Uh, what are you gonna watch on vacation? I have some stuff on my list. Take that spiky ball. <laughs> Take the speck of boys. Um, I have some stuff on my list, like on Netflix and Hulu. Um, stuff I want to watch. I mean, there's like a million things I have on there. Um, there's a sports documentary series called, um, geez, what is it called? It's called like, it's called Bad Money or something. It's like sports scandals, basically. It's on Netflix, I think. I can take off this hat now also. Um, there are, um, let's see, other stuff. Like I'm trying to trying to remember offhand uh i want to watch malcolm and marie uh it has like what's her name zendaya zendaya i don't know if i'm saying her name right um also what was the point of being in here like i feel like i didn't get anything out of being in here did i miss something from here like just opening the door i need a haircut it's too long yeah that's fair i had needed a haircut really bad um fairly recently i thought this would have been something to scan what do you call your haircut? What did you What did you call your haircut? Maybe I get the same thing. Um. Mm, what do? I don't know. I had a picture of it. Um. It's not quite a shag, but it's layered for sure. Um. That purple thing looks cool. There is not something in that room. Yeah. What is the significant? What is the significance of the room? There's something in the tower. Go back. Really? Like the tower that I'm. That I went in. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Run, hurry! Oh god, the sand! The sun tower? Okay. Let me get out of the way of the sand. Fuck, 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 okay. I just didn't see anything, which confused me because it was really hard to get in there. The game wouldn't- oh shoot. 
make you go through that without a worry. That's what I was thinking, but I'm like, I don't see anything here. So, hence my confusion. There's this thing. But I can't pick this up. There's this thing, which is how I got up here. There's this, which is the exit. Oh, what the heck? And then I thought this was gonna be something I could translate. You can hide under that bridge to avoid the sand. Oh, thank you. I did not know that. I thought it would still suck me up. Like, there's this, and this seems like it'd be something, but it, it's not? So yeah, I don't know. Cause I can't pick this up, can I? Thanks for the hydration spec. What is in the sun tower? Should I close the door again? I don't think I can't even close the door again. Or I can. Oh, shoot. Is it gonna keep the door unlocked for me, though, if I leave it unlocked? I haven't been playing this in ages, but that kind of looks like a teleporter. It does, but... Oh, is that how I get there? Is this how I get to, like, the sun station? How do I get to the sun station? You've learned something about the purple thing previously. <sighs> Duh... <laughs> Have you gotten sucked through the black hole at Brittle Hollow yet? Then it should look familiar. I have. Is it like I just stare up at this? Or like I just don't. Oh. Is this good? Was this the right thing to do? Is this correct? Can I get some oxygen? There we go. Yo, that. Okay, and then I can walk up this. Okay, yeah, and this is what I was expecting to find. I'm gonna quickly scan all of these, because... I'm scared I'm gonna die. Okay, uh, 2,000... Uh, 2,800 and 1 plus thousand years ago, whatever. No user commands received for 10 minutes. All systems entering sleep. 10 minutes, 5 seconds ago. Increase all activity detected. Sun station hall in integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. Uh, so far, is this game good? It's mixed for me. I mean, I think I think a lot of elements of it are really impressive. Warning, opens emergency door. Should I not open this? And now that I... It's taken me so long to learn what this... How to play this game. That it definitely uh, impacted my, my perception of it. And, and how much I like it or whether I think it's good. But like today has been my most enjoyable session. Because I feel like I can actually do some stuff. It's almost like the window above the purple thing looked like the crosshairs. Can I fly over to this? I feel like I'm gonna die. Fuck. Should I not have done this? What's happening? 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 Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. No! Well, we can go back and do that again, so it's fine. What's happening? <laughs> I was really freaked out. Flew too close to the sun, quite literally. Do you guys know if the door is already going to be open? Remember that Atlanta crunk song, What's Happening? I actually don't think I remember that one. Do we know if the door is going to be open at least? I think it will be. I got left the door open. I had left the door open. <gasps> I had left the door open. You can lock and match the velocity to those pieces. Yeah, I feel like mistakes were made, you know what I mean? New loop. No door. Man! That sucks. I don't think so. Everything resets for the new, new loop. Who's this? Um, whatever. We know it'll be fine. Because we know, we know how to do it now, so I think it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Every little thing's gonna be all right. Okay, uh, let me go to... This guy, the Ash Twin. Okay, cool. What 
Would a plushie be welcome for morale? Sure, I'll take a plushie. I'll always take a plushie. The plushie redemption is always welcome. Um, yay! Okay, uh, and this is perfect timing too because I actually want to change my shirt. So I'll be right back with my plushie. All right, this is the frog. I have a frog. I have a dog. We have a bog. Uh, dope crew, sweat crew neck sweater, though. Thanks. Yeah, I love crew sweaters. Those are, like, my favorite kind. Uh, to be fair, she just fell into the side. <laughs> um, what was it? Uh, this has a this guy has a real name, but I call this one Lily from the Animal Crossing Villager. And, uh, yeah, this is, like, one of my favorite Squishmallows. I got this Squishmallow randomly at a Walgreens. Apparently it's kind of like, well, they randomly become hot commodities when they like sell out. And I feel like frog, frogs and cows are very popular. If you're part of the nerd cute community where you just buy cute garbage, you're probably into frogs and cows to some degree. Shoot. Ooh. Ooh. I was holding the match velocity. I swear to God, I was holding the match velocity. You can't tell me I wasn't. You cannot tell me I was not. Okay, let's try to go this freaking sand dune. Honestly, though, with the sand full, that one thing was pretty easy, so... Hopefully this will stay okay. Every little thing's gonna be alright. Okay, um... So... Okay... I just have to first find it, and then usually you have a little bit of time, so... We're looking for the, let's see, we're getting closer, I think, let's see, come on, okay, this is, which direction is this going? This one's not the sun. Okay, 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 okay. Just gotta make sure I don't get souped up. Oh, oh, this one's the sun. I believe this is the sun. The sand column is on the uh, equator, so you just have to stay off of it and under structures. Uh, this seems tougher than the quantum moon. <laughs> um, I feel like it's more straightforward than the quantum moon, but... I do find myself having challenges. Okay, so we are dropping out of here and we know that it's this thing and we know that, oh yeah, I see what you mean, the equator, right? I have that little map. Okay, um, let me see where the, I gotta find the front entrance, which still might not be visible yet. Is the base game... Is this the base game or Echoes of the Eye? This is the base game. Echoes of the Eye is the a DLC, which uh, I think I'm going to be playing with Play It Forward when we do our collab stream stuff uh, sometime next month. Because after today, I am on vacation. So I'm excited. I'm taking, uh, you know, Friday off for... Friday and Saturday off for the marathon. Um, and then... On Sunday is the marathon, and then I'm taking the rest of that week off to recover from the marathon. So that's the cadence of things. Which, where is the door? I think on the left side, actually. I feel like my ship might get sucked up, but it's fine. Are you on a break from PS I Love You? Yes, um, but I'll, that only ends up me missing one episode. Um, so not too bad. Works out pretty well. But yeah, so next episode won't have me. I it similarly took a break. Or I took one day off for my birthday. My birthday was on uh, Monday, which is when we record PS I Love You. Ooh. Let me get out of here. Get out of the way. Yeah, I think my ship is going to die, actually. Happy belated. Thanks. It's like way belated. It was in January, so <laughs> it was a while ago. 
Um, but I remember being like, oh man, I have to miss uh, that episode. Uh, that was the episode that Taylor was actually on. Um, that was when PSVR 2 was further unveiled. Well then, I mean, still, you're not wrong. You're technically not wrong. It is belated if it's late. Um, yeah, Monday I'm just taking off because I'm running the marathon the day before that. So I'm like, I'm going to be exhausted. Um, and I'm going to need some time off. And hopefully I'll be celebrating my victory. But... Fuck. Okay. I had a feeling that would happen, but it's okay. 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 See? Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too terrible. Okay, so... The tip here was to match the velocity of the pieces? Something like that? Doot doot. Okay. Every little thing's gonna be alright. Uh, please make too much pozole and I'll bring you some easier whatever it was. Uh, I- that- the pozole is, a uh, Maggie's joint. Uh, I can make a sh uh, not a shepherd's pie. I can make a chicken pot pie, though. So, I think I might just do that. Okay. And, uh, I still don't have the recipe for that, either. Like, I I've asked Maggie for it a few times, but... I think it's just kind of a lot of work to parse it together, so... I'm sure she'll put that together at some point. Because I would like to make that- learn how to make that soup as well. Um, Kevin, thank you for the follow. Okay, so... I'm supposed to throw myself out there and then just... match the velocity of the pieces? I'm holding match velocity. I'm holding match velocity. I'm holding X for match velocity. Can someone please tell me how to do this without dying? Because I hold X every time. And nothing has happened. I'll eventually play this, uh, so I better leave before, um, you beat this thing later. Sure thing, uh, then Thomas was like. Thanks for stopping by. What? Why? I feel like I'm locked on. Is it, oh, that I have to click, like, the left stick? Is that the difference? You have to lock onto the doorway so it knows which one to match with. Okay. All right. I probably should have asked before I jumped to begin with, but I was like, no, match velocity. It'll be totally fine. Oof. It wouldn't be this game if we didn't do it several times over. I think one reason that um, people are so good at giving tips and hints on this game is that if you've accomplished anything in this game, it's because it took you seven times to do it all the way through. Like, I'm never gonna forget how to do this once I get it down. Okay. So back to the Hourglass Twins, back to the Ashtray. And I think it's, that is one of my, um, like, gripes with it. Like, redoing stuff is, like, a real pain in the ass. And I personally don't feel like I'm gaining more by having to, like, fly back to Ash Twin, wait for the sand to drain, wait, like, it's just, uh... Yeah, it's like a little too much of a struggle for me, um, in terms of some of that stuff. Like, it can get kind of fr and then it's like, at least I know what I want to do generally. Like, it's way more frustrating if I don't even know what I want to do. Because then I'm like, okay, well, I don't even know if what I'm doing is right, so I'm just trying stuff. You can sleep at the campfire to speed up time. I don't think I have too much time to wait, though, is my only thing. So I'm like, I'll just go. The biggest time sink here is just finding the sand. Which I guess would be easier to find if I was, like, not in my ship, in a sense, but... Okay, I think it's gonna be along this way. Kind of benefit from a Marika statue. Um... Do 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 Or like, um, even though I didn't end up playing Forgotten City very much, because I found it kind of boring, like... Having someone do the stuff you learned in the loop for you, it's kind of nice. This is why I prefer more traditional roguelike without loop games as opposed to this. Just find it more action-oriented, interesting. Uh, Demontis95, thanks for the follow. Okay, here we go. This is where we're gonna find it. This is where we're gonna find it. Here we go. Going through. Following the sand. Which direction are you traveling in? I can't tell. 
Uh, they really leaned into the actual physics of flying through space, including being pulled in by the sun's gravity. That makes it difficult to handle. <laughs> yeah, a little, little bit. Here we go. Oh, it's coming this way, I think. Okay, let me find... Let me find the sun stuff. Oh gosh, I'm like so turned around. Turned around. Every now and then I get a little bit of time. Okay. No, not this one. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There it is, finally. Okay. And I need you more tonight. And I need you more than ever. And if you open up my eyes, I'm a dutiful to get- Apparently the reason for the specific is the physics breaks down after 22 minutes. Together- This looks like it's already kind of revealing itself, but gotta watch out, I don't get zooped up trying to look at this place. Karaoke stream. Tonight forever's gonna stop. Okay. Once upon a time, I was falling apart. No, I was fall. I was. Now I'm only falling in love. Now I'm only falling apart. That's what it is. We should group watch the no clip documentary of this game afterwards. It might be fun to do some no clip watches. I don't know if um I'd have to check with Danny on if that's like allowed. Um, I don't want to jack his uh his stuff. I imagine he'd be cool with co-stream stuff like that, but I don't actually know. Um. Mark Cerny really has me thinking about uh, dev workarounds a lot more. Yeah, he'll do that. Classic Mike. Mark, I mean, <laughs> Mike, Mark. I'm rocking with Mark because Mark's rocking with us. Okay. Um, so, here we go. They pretty much broke Unity to make this game. <laughs> yeah, PS5 is a gift. Classic Jeanette Garcia. Gar Garcuca. Garcua. Oh, freak. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Once upon a time I was falling in love. Now I'm only falling apart. As I never felt a total eclipse of the heart. Okay. Classic <laughs> Mike Cerny. Yeah. It's like, wait, did you get Mark Cerny or Mike Cerny? We got someone. We got some somebody. Somebody's talking to us. So locking onto the vidges is key here. No, you're thinking of Mike the Carney. <laughs> nice. Um, yes, apparently. So, we're gonna really try to live a good life today. Because I don't want to do this for a fourth time. Like, this is probably like my third time doing this. Um, yeah, this is my third time. Because the first time I was pretty close, but I messed up. The second time I just wasn't really that close. <sighs> this is really awful. Why did they make it like this? They could have made it any other way. They could have just made a bridge connecting these pieces. Like, they didn't need to do all that. You know what I mean? Velocity matched. Okay. I just feel like this was an unnecessary, um... Point in time. Ow! Ow! I'm holding X. I'm matching the velocity. I'm matching the velocity. I'm matching the velocity. Fuck. You gotta be joking. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This- yo. This is so fucked up.
Thank you for the hydration. Like, what kind of shit was that? Can someone tell me what- Is it because I didn't hold on to each bridge piece? Like, I want to know what is the benefit of just not making this a fucking tunnel that connects the two pieces. Um, try over jumping the gap. Also, keep moving. Okay. We're gonna- I mean, we're gonna- we're gonna try it again because there's not- there is no alternative. <laughs> if I could just zoop myself there, I would. It seemed like it was a straight shot. Honestly, I was so close. And then it was like, yeah, we're done. Like, it's- you're over. Um, go a bit faster and not touching the pieces. Okay. And then it's just like the amount of time it takes to retry this one thing. And that's one of my big pet peeves in games. And obviously it's always going to be contingent on what you struggle with in a game. But I hate when like, I can't do C and I can do A and B. I just can't do C. And they're like, but to do C again, you're going to have to do A and B all over again. And I'm like, why? I can do it. It just, I don't want to have to do it. It takes so much time. And it makes it harder to practice the thing that I don't know how to do because I have to like wait so much time between. It's like a real pain in the ass. Um, I think it's a matter of moving quickly and directing yourself away from the sun since gravity is someone to be pulling you in. Yeah, it's an unnecessary gatekeep skill check. It's just like, I mean, I can see the value in wanting me to develop that skill, but like given the fact that I've been playing for like, I don't know, 16 hours or something, it's like, look, you failed to teach me to do this. Why is that on me now? Mm -mm. Like, I don't see why that's my problem. Like, why'd you have to make, like, they answer that personally. <laughs> on the bright side, you have learned the extreme important lessons about the purple platforms. Um, but you know, the haters are gonna say I'm just bitter. And honestly, it's a little truth to that. I am bitter, but you would be too if you, if this happened to you, you know what I mean? Now I feel like I'm quoting that, um, the Chief Slayer, thanks for the follow. Now I feel like I'm just quoting the, uh, the it's my party song it's my party i could cry if i want to. yeah it's my stream and i can cry if i want to you know you'd cry too if it happened to you you'd cry too if it happens to you okay um so as we say in the biz this time for real though altered rain thanks for the follow altered rain knows what's up they're like i don't want to miss this meltdown um before it gets clipped out by dextero or something <laughs> Uh, I thought I already was. Oh, shoot. Okay, no, we're okay. Yeah, that happens a lot. And then, like, there's so many times where on streamers, I'll, like, hover over that little heart follow, and I'm like, am I following? Am I not following? Am I a dead unfollow? Like, what's going on? Okay. All this time, and I still feel like I don't have, like, the best process for tracking where the sun thing is. Let's see. No, I always end up finding this like five times. Like I find this little portal thing a lot, but I don't find the other one a lot. Here it is, here it is. It's like right across is what I gotta remember. Um, whoop, whoop. So you guys are saying not to connect to the bridges at all and to like jump farther. Kind of, right? Something like that? Something like that. Um, I'm gonna put my little scout at the door. Just make sure nothing's gonna zoop me up while I'm in over here. We'll just throw him here for now. That might not be the spot for him. But... Oh, I was like, what the heck is that? Yeah. I have to see, like, where the lights are at. If I had, like, the angle of this more memorized... Yeah, it is that, it is that spot. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, Alright, then we have a couple seconds to still look at this. I think, actually, now we can go. Yeah, we can already go. Oh, this is the other side. Wrong side. Wrong side. Here we go. This is the right side. Gotta make sure I'm not there when the, the sand comes by. Okay. 
from pretty far away. Here it is. Here's the sand. Okay. And after it goes through, we can probably go after that. Um, lock on, but move towards as well. See, I've always been bad at that. The hotshot trophy is so hard. Um, God, I'm like so scared. I think match velocity was messing you up. Try, try controlling manually. I don't know about that one. I feel like people have been telling me to match the velocity. My manual controls are really bad. Um, okay. This is gonna be tough because I feel like y'all gave me like six different tips and I don't know if I remember any of them quite well. Um, overshoot the jump. Try to like match the door, I think it was. Maybe visualize the start before jumping. Um, team model. <laughs> Oh, damn. Okay, well, not the worst puncture. Dive, dodge, dip, duck, and dodge. Five Ds. Like, the process for retrying this is so long. Ugh, okay. We can do it, though. Uh, Baker the Hut. Thank you for the follow. Slide to the left. Match velocity helps you start drifting off tar target. Match velocity on the door, fight against the day, don't fly into debris. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Blade, laser, blazer, Michelle, and Franz Stalinovskovich Devotovichsky. I don't remember that as well as uh, I probably should. <laughs> Someone dubbed the interstellar docking sequence audio over this. Oh my god. This game is so good, says Baker. Uh, good luck. Yeah, Baker, if you or anybody else, again, last second tips. I know y'all have given a lot already. I'll stand by where I need to go. I have. This is my fourth or fifth. I think my fourth time doing this. I have missed this each time I've flown to the sun. Um, what do we got? Um, Go manual if you if you drift. If I drift, go manual. I don't think I know how to freaking fly is like what I'm really realizing here. Okay, there's only three minutes of oxygen left, so we have to just go for it. Okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. Damn it, damn it. Damn it, 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 damn it. It didn't work, 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 it didn't work. I don't think it worked. It didn't work. Fuck! Fuck! Oh, you fucking asshole. Fucking stupid. Ah! No! No! Okay. I don't even, I'm like barely even in control of anything now. Oh god, I don't know. I mean, I'm not dead yet. But I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well. I'm not doing good. Yeah, wake up, Ada. Can, can I just hover here till it comes back to me? She has a chance. It's going so far away. Come back. Am I even getting closer to it? Is the thing? Or should I just wait? Neither good nor well. I don't have much oxygen left. Vitals are critical. Damn, man. You know what? I think you were getting close. I appreciate... I appreciate that. I don't know if it's true, but I appreciate it. I just can't do this. Like, this is so... dumb. I hate this. <laughs> like, this is awful. Are you standing up while playing? I am standing up while playing Owl Season with the standing desk. I was brought to you by... What well, kind of funny gave me this desk, actually? Uh, it's an uplift desk from Kind of Funny. So, yeah. That was better than slamming into the sun. It was better. You're right. I didn't... Well, it's the same result, but I mean... What if you went to the cave on the home planet for practice? I don't think that... I don't know if that's going to help me is the only thing. Like, I feel like they're... It's just too much. Like, I can fly, I can move and use my suit, but like, with, um, 
with uh, the um, the other like gravity pulling me in. That's the real like pain point here. We've been doing this for so long. Um, I don't know. Uh, throw yourself forward as fast as possible. Mash velocity is stealing some of your forward momentum, I think. You need to get from one door to the other before you can... The drift can pull you off course. Okay. Unfortunately, me complaining about how dumb I feel like this is, is not gonna help me do this. No one's gonna come in and mod this game right now and take out this one section. Um, so we're just, we're just gonna have to do it, but... It is what it is. What are you trying to do? First time seeing this game, I'm not sure what it is. Okay, so this game's a lot of things. Um, it is an adventure narrative based um, open world game. There is no combat. It's all about traversal. Um, you fly your ship to different planets. Uh, the different planets have different characteristics. And really your goal is just to, you know, learn more about the universe. You're sort of, um, uh, I wouldn't say a pioneer, but yeah, you're a space explorer. I think it's, you know, a fine assessment. Um, what I'm currently doing right now, uh, I'm between two planets. One is called Ember Twin and one is called Ash Twin. They're both like twin planets. Um, they both have their own little shticks and gimmicks. So this planet, oh, hold on, I gotta get back in here. This planet is covered in sand, but the sand is slowly draining to its sister planet, uh, the Ember Twin planet. Um, I'm trying to enter a structure, which I need to do fairly quickly. Like fairly early on while on this planet because uh, I need there to be enough sand to like cover these cactuses. So a lot of the puzzles with um, Ash Twin and Ember Twin specifically are related to time slash the environment that the planet has. So like to really explore all of this planet, you know, like I need to make sure that, um, you know, there's enough stuff exposed for me to do that. Um, but you know, in a case like this, it's one of the rare times where I don't want the plan to be completely drained because I need some of that sand. Um, other things to mention. So then I'm trying to go into this building and then I use this basically teleporter to go into um, what's called the sun station. Because really, again, what I'm trying to do is explore like all these different um, things that are sort of in space, um, left behind. Sometimes I'm meeting up with explorers. Sometimes I'm looking at like ancient artifacts. Um, and the sun station is not a place I've been yet. So I'm like, I need to go explore the sun station. And I'm struggling with that because I need to like leap from one planet to the other. But the sun's gravity is pulling me in. Admittedly, I will say this is probably the most, one of, if not the most mechanically challenging parts for me personally. Um, I've had other things that I've had to do multiple times and that I've struggled with, but this is definitely the hardest one. Um, just cause it has a lot of things that I find difficult to do. Um, enemies, gra they, <laughs> there's combat, gravity's enemy. So that's kind of a, a quick TLDR and also like a synopsis of where we currently are and what we're trying to do. So and the reason I'm standing here right now and just kind of like following this, um, this is the sand draining from Ash Twin to Ember Twin, is I'm trying to see where um, the building I want to go to is at. I have a little bit of a hard time finding it, but I know it's along this path of the sand. So I'm like, okay, well, if I follow the sand, I'll get to it. Um, I'm always like really close to it, but I have a hard time seeing it. Uh, one, just cause I do. And then two, if I get here like really fast, um, there's probably still a lot of sand on the planet. So then I end up, you know, it's hard to see the opening that I'm looking for. Um, but right now I'm just in my spaceship flying around. Yeah, it's coming up pretty soon then I think. Let me see. Here it is. So there we go. That's where I'm trying to go. Um, it's actually, either already ready or almost ready. So hopefully I didn't wait too long to take too long to get here. Um, but I gotta watch out because there's the sand coming in. You can use, you know, you have like different tools and stuff. This doesn't go far enough, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to just... I'm just gonna follow right behind it. Um, if, if I step into that, I'll like get thrown to the other planet and then I'll have to just like kind of restart. See, you can kind of see the scout get thrown. Okay, this is the door. We actually got here right on time. And as you can see, the sand is draining. And when I enter, uh, you think you'll stay on to finish? Oh yeah, again, I'm finishing this game. Now, maybe I end up taking a break at a certain point and the stream restarted later or like do a longer intermission or something. But um, I'm finishing this game today because I don't want to bring it in after my marathon because that's like two weeks from now. 
So we'll play it by ear um, on how long we'll play for in a given chunk. Oof. So yeah, there's cactuses down there. It's basically why I want to make sure there's enough sand. Then I'm looking up here. There's basically like a little teleporter thing that can zoot me up to... Um, I technically end up kind of in the sun station, I guess. I'm like in part of it. And I'm trying to make this leap and it's really difficult. And the part that kind of compounds the frustration for me is that like, you know, for those, the, the person that just came in and was like, oh, what are we doing? What's going on? Like from when they asked that to like right now, that's how long it takes me to retry this one thing that I can't do, which is like a real pet peeve of mine in games when uh, the way I describe it is I can't do C and I can easily do A and B, but the game forces me to do A and B over and over again just to keep trying C and it's like a pain. Um, this sort of pattern, this like purpley pattern, uh, means that I can walk on it. It's like a gravity, anti-gravity stuff, or however you want to describe it. I open up this door, and then I just, okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. Oh! This is the door I'm trying to get to. Finally! Thank fucking god. What a pain in the ass that was. That took me like four fucking times to do. <sighs> Honestly, I need to like take a second because that was such a pain in the ass. Sounds like a bad checkpoint when you put- Yeah, and like the challenge here, like to this game's credit, I know why it's like that because it's a loop game and if they did it that way, it would like not work, but it's just frustrating. Hell yeah, game of god. <laughs> Thank you, Void. I appreciate it. Thank you for the bits as well. Um, very generous with the bits. I appreciate it. Uh, play it forward with the emotes. Ooh. Oh my god. I need just a second. The mental anguish that I went through here. And I'm scared of what's next. I actually don't know what's coming after this. Um, geez. Okay. And then, like, walking around here, you know, we see, like, different of the, I guess, are they hats, technologies, remnants of, um, the, uh, Nomai. And then this is their writing. So, Pi, we're kind of, we've been following, like, a lot of these characters, like, throughout the game. Like, they're, you know, it's a, like, I mean, they have names that are a little bit harder to remember, in my opinion, but it'd be like, they have, like, Mark or, you know, whoever, like, Ida. Um, so, like, Pi is, like, mission, science compels us to explore the sun. Ida, we can change this. I don't enjoy working in a view of such a morbid mission statement. Here's a better one. Mission. Uh, determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. Um, Pi, but it's accurate. Uh, we're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific mission progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Hmm. Exploding the sun. Uh, you lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. This is actually really amusing. Okay. Um, kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does. Yay, should block updated. So also, like, the other big part of this game is just scanning uh, those little text swirls um, to learn more. And then you can swap out these. Um, they're called, like, scrolls. Like, if I had another one, I could, like, swap that one out and put in a new one. So I came from that side. There's two places to go, and I'm scared to go to either. Fuck. I'm scared. I'm just, like, so scared because it took me so long to get here. I think this part is new. Um, just some good nature- <laughs> some humor- Oh, this is, like, the statues. Hello? Hello? Okay. The timer pauses while reading text unless you change the option. Yo, wow. This is like that movie Sunshine. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see. I see what you're saying now. Yeah. 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 Okay, let me just scan these real fast just to make sure. 
Uh, approximate uh, time until the sun station is destroyed. Two minutes. So at 13 minutes. Star has reached natural life, so it won't evacuate sun station. Hold on. Can I put this thing with this other thing? Here we go. What happened? Did the sun station not fire? Uh, it fired, Yara. Let me make sure I actually have that set to... Advanced, controls, graphics, gameplay? Yeah, I have everything except for when talking to others. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, then I can take my time. Okay. It fired Yara, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There was an infinite... Infinite testimony, small surface level change, but they were barely visible even to the third eye. What happened to the sun station not fire? Um, the sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. Um, I suppose we must start over, but I'm unsure how to start over. Infinite testimony. Yes. <laughs> yeah, return to Ashwin first, my friend. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire noticed a comet approaching um, this sun, star sun system that we'd like to investigate. I heard for you, my friends. We all know how hard you've both worked. I can only offer my compassion, but I'm unsure of how to start over. Ida, well, we're well, Yarrow, uh, or as well as we can be expected given the circumstances. Though disappointed, I may have disagreed with exploring the sun, but I never wished the device would fail. I'd hoped our terrible work was finished. Okay, no, I can't take that one out. Okay, do we know- there's like another section to explore? I think this section is done. I hope so. Like, I just don't want to come back here because it was such hell to <laughs> show up here. Okay, and then there's this area. This might actually not have anything in it though. Got a bit hot in here. Proud of you. Thank you. I failed. F's in space. <laughs> yeah. I think this might be everything. I'm looking to see if there's any other, like, stone projections or something. I don't think there is. You're done here. You found the key information in the sensation and the sensation did not cause this one to explode. No log updates, just vibe. I guess it's everything then, and this is how I got here. What a pain. Yeah, I guess that's everything. I mean. Yeah, so what now? Now we go back to the log and we see what else is there to learn. Cast myself into the fire. I could. Um, I think I'll probably just meditate. <laughs> I have a new hand for you to chase if you're ready. Um, I probably am. Let me just check my log. I hope I never have to come back to the sun station. Please say no. That was too much. Through the limit. Through the fire. Through the limit. Through the war. For a chance to be with you. I'd rather risk it all. Deserve somebody order pancakes. I just said this is herb. Okay. Yay! Thank God. I hate the sun station. I'm gonna see the sun. The sun station can go to hell. The sunless city can go to hell. Anything related to the sun in this game can honestly go to hell. Okay. Do 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 do. Okay. Here we go. So. We're 
reject sun, embrace quantum moon. Quantum moon's so much better than the sun. The sun's awful. This corner's done. The sun station. What was that to make the sun go supernova? The Nomai fired the sun station, but it had no effect on the sun. They went to investigate a newly erupted comet. According to the my computer, our sun has reached the end of its natural cycle. So the sun station can burn in hell. Okay, we have quite a few things left. Um, I'm kind of confused by why this lunar lookout is still, like, question mark marked. Um, okay, wait, it's something about quantum knowledge. There are two paths beneath brittle hollow surface that lead. Uh... The Nomai at the Southern Observatory controlled a model of giant Steve that revealed the object might shrink under a small current. The orbital launch model. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably ready for whatever hint there is. Um So to find this on the city, you had to find the escape pod. Break? Yeah, maybe some point soon. How much do I have left time-wise, do we think? You can be honest. You can tell me it's four hours, and I'll understand. A lot. Like, how much a lot? Like, a lot a lot? Like, a little a lot? Okay, so then I just have to look for more skate pods? Yeah, we probably do need to take a break. It has been a while. It has been four hours. Um, yeah, a lot. Damn. We need tier two hints. I think you could do it within four hours, but it's been a while. I think so, too. Um, let's see. I don't think you're finished today unless you get mega hints. Damn, really? Is it that long? I mean, I'm, I'm finishing it today. Like, you know, I'd like to go to bed early today, but that might not happen. Because um, I'm not playing it again. <laughs> Pretty much. That's why I wanted to do some streams earlier this week, too, but I just did not have time to do it. So let me see something. Um, let's see. Right now it's 3 o'clock. Um, just respect your bio needs, please. Oh, thank you. I appreciate the concern. Um, we could go till... Maybe we could start again. Maybe we'll start again at like five, because then I can take a break, I could eat. Um, yeah, maybe. I mean, strictly speaking, you finish it in 15 minutes if someone told you where to go. <laughs> yeah, that, that, I'm sure that's, that's also partially true. Um, cool, let's do, it has been a while. You can only stream for so long. I mean, I've, I definitely have done like crazy streams that are like 12 hours and stuff, but. Those are kind of few and far between. Okay, let's do, maybe we'll stop here. Speed run is eight minutes. Um, maybe we'll stop here and then go back at five o'clock PT. I think that's what I'll do. Cause I don't have time to eat lunch. Um, slash, I kind of want to cook like a dinner. The marathon though, the marathon's not till Sunday though. So I'll be okay. Um, but that's why I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna stream tomorrow or Saturday. Um, the only thing that I'm a little bit like ooh about is I really want to, I kind of want to go to bed early tonight. Uh, by early, I mean like, I think, actually only 11.30. 11.30 is not too bad. So we're going to see what we can do. Um, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and, ooh, I have the perfect person to stream right now. Also, NASA's live, which I feel like would be good. Dang, I wish I'd gone live. Uh, you can still go live. You should go live. Um, but you helped a lot here. But yeah, always, like I said, I, I had a feeling I had a good amount of time left. But yeah, this would be a good point for a break. It has been four hours. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and... Um, hey, Key Rune, uh, thank you so much for the um, the sub over here. Uh, NASA, would, NASA would be appropriate. I think they have rates turned off because NASA doesn't want to get trolled. Um, but so we won't be able to raid NASA, unfortunately. Uh, I'll be back here again later today. We're going to do 5 p.m. PT, so in two hours. Uh, I'm going to try to post these VODs too on YouTube. I've been like really like forgetting to do that um but yeah i'll take a break i'll eat lunch i'll maybe do some cooking 
uh, tidy up and all that good stuff. Uh, before we leave and do our raid, I do want to go ahead and do a couple things. First, let's give a shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. You too can join over on patreon.com slash gameonestist. We have rewards as low as a $1 tier all the way up to the $25 tier. Like my sponsor friends. I'm talking about Biscuits with Davey, Black Clumberjack, Edwin Garcia, Jesse Clark, Kevin Fair, Margaret Castillo, Mick, aka the Nanobiologist, Nina McKee, Platform Fanatic, Play It Jason, Railton, Spencer Cassiano. Thank y'all so much for uh, joining me at that sponsor tier and helping me do what I do when I do what I do. Uh, obviously we've been hanging out here for a long time, so I totally get people have other things they might want to do, but please stick around for rating a uh, robo dessert who is a fellow streamer uh, and I really enjoy his streams and I think if you like my streams you'll also like robo dessert streams uh, he's currently playing tunic that's a game that I reviewed I really liked it um, check it out you know you can see someone play through it uh, send him some love even if you can't stay for the entirety of his stream and again I'll be back here in two hours uh, this has been outer wilds the end part one uh, stay tuned for part two and yes make sure you're hitting that follow so you get the notification when I go live later today uh, and for now, I will see y'all here later tonight. Bye.